Happy Holy Day, Moors, and welcome to House of Reawakening Minds. Yeah. House of Reawakening Minds exists to provide for exploration and practice of spirituality in an enlightened community dedicated to honoring the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We are a holistic center for spiritual grounding, free thought, self-discovery, and Moorish science, and awakening experience for all ages. Tonight, we are pleased once again to have with us our National Grand Chief, Taj Tariq Bey. Um, subject matter tonight, God the Destroyer, um, Purpose. Um, everyone probably knows the um, coup d'etat that's taking place for the world to see um, with, um, with the um, Ku Klux Klan Party um, impeaching uh, Donald Trump. I want to qualify what I'm saying because people always miscue what we present. Um, that's a re that whole scenario is a reflection of a dog and pony show on representing a, big, a bigger scale of activities that's taking place on the planet and in the world. But that's just a synopsis for a movie for the people. Uh, two things, and it's not like I said before, a defense for or of Donald Trump himself. Their attack on Donald Trump, and understand this, it doesn't mean that Donald Trump is necessarily doing everything he's doing for you, necessarily. Don't, don't misunderstand. To the point that it may benefit the people of the land will be more by circumstance of the situation as opposed to necessarily his will and intent, although he may have the will and intent to do some good for the land and the people. Uh, but, I, but you also know by virtue of other forces that they're not talking about, uh, other forces of God, but not the way the people think it is, um, that are going on. Uh, therefore, those of you who've heard me speak on this matter a few years back, just before he was um, presented for the office, um, we kind of projected some of these things. And so we're going back on it, and, and it's major, majorly for us to observe this but not get caught up in it, if, if you understand where I'm coming from. But observe it because it's a lesson for you. Uh, the attack on Donald Trump is an attack on the people. So Donald Trump is um, sort of like a figure, do you understand, in history. Um, and if people get caught up in the personality, they'll miss it, you know. And uh, the other reason we're going into this, uh, it's nothing new for you, but it's a reminder to you. Um, the rulers, and this is on the planet, not just not just with the uh, oligarchs operating at North America under the Spanish Inquisition, are we clear? This is with the rulership across the planet. Keep this in mind, and this is very important, and write these, some of these things down so you can stay focused. Because a lot of the details, although we've been over them here and there over the years, um, in order to stay focused on what we're dealing with tonight, you know, just just, I'm going to lay out certain things that don't forget. God is a verb transitive. It is derived from Old High German, which means good. And Old High German would be gut, which would be just like G-U-T-T, -T, also like gut. G-U-T, like the gut, your stomach, that thing. Um, what you recognize, like, um, as you talk about, talk to people, you know, like around the country and talk to people outside the country. And also, I just want to give you all greetings from the sister who was calling earlier, you know, when we were sitting here. Um, so she sends greetings to our, everyone here. And, um... She is 
on the land in the north, and she's Eritrean. So she wants you all to to, um, to be greeted, and so I'm sharing greetings. All right. Okay. Um, as a note, just you know, so that you're not confused. Um, we started communicating actually about a week or a half ago. Someone gave her my number. But as soon as I talked to her, I recognized that she's really an old spirit, you know. So um, I'm looking forward to getting information from her because uh, she, like many, um, that I recognize. And so I'm not talking about you, but I'm just talking about you. <laughs> um, kind of close up a little bit. And then they're opening up because they're actually from another time. Mm. And she's one of them. Wow. A genius awakening to her genius. And then at the same time, psychic suppression. She suppressed her psychic abilities. But she's opening up now. So that's what that's about. Uh, which is another reason we're going into this, because all of you are going to have to start getting real with yourselves. And the reason you need to, because you need to know that the people who you trusted as your so-called spiritual leader guys and girls uh, have not necessarily been who you thought they were. It's not condemning people for their beliefs, and it's not putting you down for necessarily accepting some things, but you must understand this. Um, I make no judgment in it. I'm only making note relative to it, only to my experience that nature doesn't forgive me for it. it meaning that the concept that we have or what we call source or Allah or God is not the concept that has ever been with the rulers. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. Now, to make sure that you all are not getting past what I'm saying to you, please repeat what I'm saying. I'm not saying accept it. I'm just asking you to repeat it. The concepts that you have been trained to accept God as has never been the concept in the minds of those who have taught you this. Say it. The concept, the concept that you learn to accept has never been in the minds of those who have taught you. I mean, what they told you, what they told you in their concept of God for you to believe in, to pay for, to worship, has been a tool for them. And always has been a tool. All clear. That's not said for you to reject it. It's said, said for you to start comprehending what you're dealing with. And the reason why I'm saying it because I recognize, um, particularly with some communications that I've had in these last couple of months, that um, we need some help with others um, to accelerate clarification for a lot of the humans here, which is probably why um, a sister connected or called, you know, because she's one. You know, how much she knows about that she's one, you know, that's, that'll be cleared later, but I recognize, you know. Um, because there's so many that, um, are already organized, are we clear? I mean, the network of the Anu Draconian Order has been on this planet for a while. So it's not like it's new, if you get the point. And the operation has been this. Among others, Earthbound or not, 
um, have been competing over us as spoils. Do you get where I'm coming from? Booty and prize. Um, there's been a position that um, that some don't want you to evolve to what you're really capable of. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Yeah. And the very ones who've actually been suppressing you have been the ones who've been declaring to be your creator. Mm -hmm. Which is why you've been in trouble. Which is why you haven't made progress for all these centuries. Of millennia. Now I trust that you heard what I just said and absorb it. Because that's what this is really about. Um I know it's controversial because people are buried in it. But they're buried in darkness in the name of light. You know, and I know most people who know what I'm talking about won't go there and open up and talk openly what I'm saying. You understand? Okay. However, in my view, it's too much at stake to be silent while, you, while you're talking to people and while you're dealing with people and you're seeing them grow and you're growing and you know, you know that there's a, a strong, very strong counter move to put this stuff, all this stuff in check. To make sure it goes nowhere. Because we're at a point that um, that they're threatened to the point that their power will not be. That's how much some of us have grown here. So their effort is greater than it was before. This is another reason why I'm doing this. Are we clear? And it is not uh, a within me thing as it is so much a, a within us thing. Are we clear? Okay. Are we clear? Okay. Um, one of the games they play uh, <laughs> is this guilt trip of debt. The guilt trip of debt that you're born in sin, the guilt trip of debt. When they say that you're born in sin, because keep in mind, sin doesn't also mean what they've been telling you. Sin means knowledge, and sin means the wound. So keep, and the reason I'm saying this to you, not to get into these areas specific in subject matter, but to just throw some things out so that as I'm talking, you don't misconstrue where I'm going with it because of connotative linguistics, which is part of the structure here. You know, and to remove necessitation of certain questions that will arise so that we can stay focused on some other things. Because the real deal is, um, is that your energy must be turned toward rejecting them, which is basically why I'm talking about this. Because if you don't reject them, then they will devour you. I mean that their position is that it's, it's, it's food time. And it's food time not necessarily because it's food time. It's food time because you're waking up and they'd rather kill you than you have you wake up. Because if you wake up, which you're doing, when I say you, I'm talking about us on, on a larger scale, um, it's over for them. It's not so much... Um, um, a weakening of their of their hold that they've had on humanity, but a total loss of it. Um, consciousness of it or not, um, on the part of many, doesn't matter to them. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying to you? They're not looking at you necessarily how you feel, what you you know. They're not looking at you with compassion okay. or from a moral perspective that you look at things. They use it against you. Are we clear? Okay. Meaning they'll eat your babies like you eat peanuts. Who look like, like okay, so let's get over it. However, 
On another level, their power is no more than what you give them, too. That's, that's the other interesting side of it. You're not without power, it's just you haven't been using it. The, the major danger that we have here is not the lack of capacity or the lack of ability of the humans. It is the sluggish will. It has been that. And it has been the adoption of the dogma systems of the priesthood in the name of religion um, that has stagnated them. Meaning that we suppressed ourselves. But we suppressed ourselves by adopting philosophies that were designed to do that. And we thought it was coming from our God, Father, Allah type thing. Are we clear? So as I'm talking, that's what I'm talking about. And as far as a refined vibrational tone concept, I'm not trying to give that to you because nature will if you tone up to what I'm saying. And I can't give it to you anyway. The only thing that I can do is agitate you or, or stimulate you. And that's all my job is. You understand? But but nature will do the rest. It's not, it's not a, um, I think a lot of times when you start getting into the metaphysicality of operations on this planet, people have a tendency to, to, to get spooky when that's not really what it's all about. It's just simply that you have not exercised yourself. And because you have not exercised yourself, you don't know yourself. And it doesn't mean that some of you don't. I'm not saying it that way. We're talking in general, general terms. And so when they run into some things that they don't understand, they start thinking super duper natural, out of the world type stuff. And I guarantee you, whatever you meet new is probably old. <laughs> you, you, you understand what I'm saying? It's only new to you because, because you've been a, in a box. Just put it that way, you've been in a box. It kept you in a box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of your box is mental. You've been fenced in and, and, and um, not dancing around the subject. I'm just saying what I'm doing is um, kind of chopping some of the chain link fence. So I'm telling you what I'm doing, you know. And they can call me renegade. They can call me, I ain't telling them the game like it is. Whatever they say, it doesn't matter because they can't buy me. You know, um, but that's what I'm doing, all right? So, rebel, fine, I don't care. You know, however you want to look at me, uh, I'm not, you know, that's not where I'm coming from. Um, the reward to myself for anything is to see someone liberated. You know, nothing else is a reward to me. You know, and, um, I know that there's others, others that are and others that claim. The other interesting thing is, with the position of the energies of the planets right now, those who have claimed and are not are going to be exposed anyway, so no big deal. So whatever you claim your neon sign to be, it will be that or wrong. All masks are coming off, and that's what it is. Um, so let's pull the mass off of the destroyer. So the masses generally think that God is their creator and their loving um, father type thing. And want to comfort them and give them sandwiches and stuff. Right? We give you some milk and honey when you're hungry and stuff. Kick your enemy's ass when they're kicking your ass type thing. Mm -hmm. No, they've been kicking your ass. You understand? The ones that you've been accepting as God have really been the enemy. Their art of governing you is keeping you from finding that out. Their missionary work of murdering men and women along the way, or along these centuries, who woke up to them and start seeing through their mask, that's why they always murder them. So that they won't help liberate 
humanity. Wow. Ain't no mystery demon doing it. It's them. Them, them, not him, not it, them. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Okay. Um, if you see a man doing evil stuff, that's him. That's you understand? See how you treat the animals, see how you treat people? That's it. Alright? Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Alright? Um, let's say this too. Any uh, presentment to you um, as a God problem. If there's a financial front line on it, you're dealing with a Draco. You understand? It is no different than um, what's the baby's name? Makai. Say again. Makai. Stop Makai. Oh, I said so <laughs> Now, like, does a mother, when a mother, by the nature of her being, governs and comforts her child, does a mother? Open her breast to her child and say, um, you pay taxes. <laughs> Does a mother deny the child her breast of milk or substance for the health and the immune system? Both of that's what it is. And the balance. Does she say, um, got five hours? Does she pass the tray? Mm hmm? Well, you can look at it like that and then measure your gods the same way. And if they're giving you a bill, uh, they still got it, but it's just not what you thought God was. So let's get, let's get clear of what God is. True. And um, my in the audience, trust me, is. What is a verb transitive in linguistics? That's just a question. A verb. Let's deal, let's, let's go with third grade gram, grammar, third grade grammatication. What's a verb? Actual word. Is that good? It describes an actual action word. An action describes an action. Describe the sound stuff, good. Action it sounds like an adjective. What do you think? Say uh, okay, go, go, go. Come on. Because we want to participate and we want to get everybody involved. Pull this out, please. Put this on the desk. Go ahead, do your thing. Now, and keep this in mind, and keep this in mind for the baby too, right? Yes. Because right. remember, the other children out there are still your babies. And if you think other than that, your concept is wrong again. That's right, that's right. Yeah, keep that in mind. Because mm -hmm. this is part of what this lesson is about. Mm -hmm. A word, a vocal, a vocal. Two says gram, a word which affirms or predict, predictates something. A word which expression, expressing an act, occurrence, or mode of being carries the distinctive force of a predictate. Predicate. Predicate. The verb in its various pre predicating form is called a infinite, infinite verb. 
heard. It takes variations of form and phrasing for voice, mold, tense, person, and number. All right. Now, the reason I had you read that. Now, a word transitive. What is a transitive? Okay. Now, and we're doing this for the listeners, not just for you all. All right. So we're taking our time because we're building. Now, you know, as we go into the subject matter, that um, a lot of people are looking for us to tell them some things. And what we need for you to do is start thinking for yourself. The lesson is for taking, taking uh, some people who are in park, out of park, the gear of park. And so we're challenging concepts. We're challenging concepts, right? I had time earlier, you know, because we were working around here today. I would mark some of this stuff off for you and actually printed it off, but it's just as good that we're working, getting you all to work. Because you're going to do this with your babies anyway, and you're going to do this with your friends too. Remember, a transitive verb, is that what we're going to be talking Yes, about? verb transitive. A transitive verb is a verb that accepts one or more objects. Give them a mic. This. A transitive verb is a verb that accepts one or more objects. This contrasts with a intransitive verb which do not have objects. Transitivity is traditionally thought of a thought a global property of a clause by which activity is transferred from the agent to a pitch. Now, all right. God, as a word, here it is an acronym, right? It's an acronym, right? God as a word outside of an acronym is presented to the masses for mind control. Are we clear? The ones who project it for themselves, this is what it is. The mask is the connotation that they've given to you to say that God means the creator. God is a Middle English word coming from Old High German, gut, G-U-T-T. -T. Are we clear? And you'll see in your dictionaries, particularly you all, you all who have quality dictionaries, your older dictionaries, right? You'll see this. OHG, which is Old High German. Are we clear? It's also spelled G U T. All right? What it means is good. And what it means is to call upon, to invoke, and to pour out. That's what the word means, All right? Now, with the art of social engineering and social controls, they create what you call connotative linguistics. And that's where they give you other presentments and call them meanings that are outside of the mother of the word. 
Are we clear? What this means, it always means, and it always meant. Are we clear? The art of full mind control is to give a connotative presentment, refer to it as a meaning, put it in your linear entries, and then misclassify it and say it's a noun. Are we clear? Mask, mask, mask. Everything that the Draco Albion Germanic tribes do for world conquest purposes is to mask. Linguistic interference or invocation or connotative linguistics is an invocation for mind control to create misdirection, which is also called miseducation. And it creates what is called docility of mind. Therefore, the word education means docile training for animals. <laughs> Are we clear? Yeah. And as you all know, because you've all said it, erudition is for human learning, and human learning institutions for human foundation and development are erudition universities. Are we clear? Like the old mosque, the old mosque before the Moors fell to the Europeans, all the mosques were actually universities and you've got all the disciplines, science, geometry, mathematics, trigonometry, cosmology, astrology, alchemy, etc. And not just prayer, if you get the point. And prayer and the concepts that the modern world works with in the name of what is called worship is a construct of the priesthood. Always think workshop of the mind, distinguished from worship. Worship is an adjustment made by the dark priesthood for mind control to suppress human evolution. For in truth we worship nothing. Everything that you're supposed to be doing is growing. Are we clear? Wow. All that's to be taught to you is to assist you in that growth no different than if you were, um, as an example, a farmer, and then there's a garden, and you make sure that the earth is uh, tilled and aerated, You'd make sure it has general nutrient in it. Based on whatever type of plant that you're putting in it, make sure that it's either alkaline or acidic according to what you're growing in it, right? Whether it's a root plant, when I say root, we're talk, let's talk in a food group. Whether it's a, 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 a root food, stem food, leaf food, fruit food, seed food. Are we clear? So if you're growing meats, because these are meats. Are we clear? The, the animal, the animal morgues that the priesthood told you was meat, that's because they were lying to you. That was to stagnate your development. So they trained humans to think that to kill the animals on the land and eat them um, is their meat. No, it is really the earth, the plants, and your knowledge concerning that, all right? That's your meats. It's also your medicines, all right? And it's also a balance, or a harmonic balance. Like, um, I'll show you another another tool that, that the, um, the Draco Europeans are using now. And when I say Draco Europeans, that means the Albion Europeans, because basically, they're not Europeans either, if you get the point. We've allowed them that for the last few centuries simply because they were under the jurisdictional authority of Queen Europa. The Asiatic Queen, you may call it, or Empress, Monarch. Are we clear? Okay. 
Those government structures that you have now is not really what existed on this planet. That's another thing. All right, so what the deal, so we're talking about the uh, Paleolith hybrid breeds of the last, of the um, Ibrida experiment modification of the, on the human um, hybrid chain, i.e. the recessive ones, all right? And it's not a condemnation of them, it's just telling you what's going on here. But they were the easiest ones to, um, for some others to influence, to do stuff to you. And so they made certain agreements. All right? That's part of what your problems are. Sam, go ahead. We just want to uh, give you a source. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, the Holy Bible, we're going to go with the uh, the Septuagint. We're going to go also with the um, the Quran, and we're going to go with the Pentateuch and the, uh, the the Hebrew Bible books, Holy Book. And in your Bible, the same verses in all of the Bible, all of those books I just named. Genesis is the book, verse one. Genesis. And genetics. genetics, verse one, and it, chapter going down to chapter picking up at about twenty eight, and God, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish in the sea, and over the fire of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Twenty nine, and God said, behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Yes. Mm -hmm. The scripture make it very clear for those Bible totem scripture quoting folk that we're not supposed to be pounding on that meat we're supposed to be eating vegetation. We're supposed to be eating fruit, uh, seed-bearing fruit. We're supposed to be eating foliage, according to the scripture. I yield. Yeah. You're not supposed to be eating the morgue that the animals, which means death. Now, of course, in terms of blood, it's said again, anyway. You know, but while we're not getting into that, and, and keep this in mind, um, the Bible is a, a also a control tool. Mm -hmm. wow. But also those who know it can use it to counter the Draco Albion paleolists who have messed up this planet and who are continuing to mess up this planet and who are trying to uh, scorch this planet before the people wake up. You know, so so the point of it is one of the major tools, the major tools by which they have put humanity in darkness is the misrepresentation of God, which is why this is a subject matter. Because you can't overcome the Roman order while accepting their idol gods. It's not gonna happen. Not because I said so, because nature is not gonna let it take place. What, you, what you're dealing with, if you want to look at, um, for those of you who, who um, like the wise men who follow the stars, if you look into the ethers and look at the positions of the stars, you'll recognize particularly what's coming up here, what's it, around the 29th or something like that. And I'm not going to get detailed with you because you feel the energy anyway. Were you having this eclipse coming up? If you pay attention to the position of certain plants, which I will not get into because I don't, I don't want to divert, which is what I'm saying to you before, um, there's going to be a lot of major changes coming in this week. You know, uh, and so you are just simply born to get ready for them. You know, uh, and, and uncomfortable some, comfortable for others. Great for some, dreadful for others. You know, so um, if you if you start, put not if, but you will. Uh, 
start seeing things, events, and energies that's uh, discomforting, you know, you already know it's coming. That's number one. Number two, get harmonic with nature. The more harmonic you are with nature, the more you're capable of surviving stuff. Uh, that's mentally as well as the physical. Um, that has more to do with you getting in harmony with nature and the truth of the phenomena that operate on this planet distinguished from the mystery gods that you've adopted from Rome, the connotative gods. Are we clear? Yeah. However, at the same time, because Rome is on a war path now as we speak, and all I'm saying to you is their attack on Donald Trump is part of that war path. But Donald Trump's the target for you. Donald Trump is, you know, like if somebody's attacking your house and there's a door and they're breaking it, trying to break the door, the door is not their object. What's behind the door is. People who are caught up in the emotions of whether they like Donald Trump or not uh, may not see the real picture. What? The real deal of this. They're trying to get Donald Trump out of the way. I'm getting like, I'm saying I'm not defending him. The nice temper. I'm not. You know, because he's assigned. So he has choice and no choice at the same time. That's a whole nother conversation. All right, all right. What he intended when he was placed there was one, him wanting to fix certain things, but he also was not totally aware of all those things that was on the pages for him, waiting for him. And he's not a dumb man at all. But he, 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 he's, uh, he's going to be exposed to a lot of things. Things he expected and a lot of things he didn't expect. However, a lot of things that he didn't intend, he's going to, to intend. And, um, but at the same time, don't also get tricked by the other angle of the Paleolith operations. Um, mm, they might call it Operation Phoenix and they may call it something else, but we'll just say they're Phoenix operations. Because the other deal is um, knowing that it's over for them in some areas on the planet there's also this other angle of them with, uh, um, attaching tags to Donald Trump. Kind of look at it like, um, kind of look at it like a um, projected political virus, where they're going to mess up the platform, knowing that their platform is going to be dissolved, and so they're tagging Donald Trump on another angle, so that you will. In other words, they're going to do so much negative to, to make you accept Donald Trump, even though they appear to be opposite, but on the long term, Donald Trump is not necessarily good for you either. Do, do you understand what I'm saying to you? However, their negative will be so blatant and neon that you will, in general, reject them altogether. You can pretty much consider within a few years that their platform will be so exposed for the corruption that it is that it will, that they put as a political platform won't exist. And so they're going to try to tag, tag, you know, I'll say push them to destroy them when they can't destroy them, tag them so that when he does get there to turn them to their function later. So watch that, but at the same time, don't put your marbles there. This is just for you to observe. But the ultimate is really for you to step out from behind all of them. You know, we're not talking about the beings that you see. They're just simple, they're just give you some mass to look at. But that's a um, character operation that's symbolized for humanity on another scale on the planet. That's not to make them important. You know, like a movie is made to tell you something else. 
you can look at that, this Dalton Pony show with Donald Trump the same way. And it was observe it, don't get caught in it. Don't get caught in it. But don't ignore it. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. All right. These oligarchs that have been operating at North America for, um, for quite some time, um, the blind faith that they've built amongst the people will die and it will be dead. Are we clear? Um, logically, as we go along with this, that we're moving within the sphere of these operations, in um, what you may look at, what you may look at or been told what economics are. It's, it's not what you think it is. But to the degree that you agree that what you think the economics are, which they're going to try to focus on concerning you and also concerning to draw you, is not really what it is. So let's, let's get that out of the way too. So don't be bought. All right? Don't sell out. All right? Don't sell out. But because they're going to try to starve you, yeah. and that's on multiple levels, because they've already pretty much succeeded in their in their silent weapon operations of the Phoenix program with uh, Rex 84 by tearing your families apart. They've, they've done enough that you're pretty much not totally destroyed, but you're pretty much destroyed on that level. All right. And so one of the other tools that they're using right now is that they're, that they're going directly, more direct, at imprisoning the women. All right, they, they, they've done this with the, with the males for, for the last 20, 30 years to break up the family. Now that's pretty much destabilized, and then they're putting in their cross-gender eugenics operation where they're promoting um, gender crossing, and, and they put enough bridges, thorns between the males and the females that most relationships won't work unless somebody is really high, really spiritually ascended. Um, but all this is, this is war. Don't, don't look at it at that there's something wrong with you. It is, but it's not you genetically. It's you being attacked. And you need to know that. Are we clear? Part of your counter move is to give them their God back. Those who are not willing will pay. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and even those who are willing will pay. The degree to how you pay is what we're dealing with means cut your losses. Cut your losses. Um, and I'm not, you know, trying to play fear games with you because they're they, that's one of their tools. I'm just telling you the truth, what it is. You know, and um, also understand that people around you that's been selling you gods and devils, whether church, mosque, synagogue, temples, what doesn't matter what it is, have not told you everything that they know. Are we clear? And I'm not criticizing them either because they're they, they good for that. You know, I'm not knocking them. You know, it's just that they'll, they ain't who they say they are either. You know, so I'm not interested in whether or not they meet some grade or not, and I'm not judging them. I'm saying to you, it is time for you, and that is us collectively, to step out from under all of them. And those who've been silent are guilty in their silence. So I'm not going to argue about those who didn't tell you. I'm going to argue this, that they didn't tell you, so that so they're, therefore they're not qualified to come out and argue with somebody who's trying to liberate you because they should have been liberating you decades ago. So since they chose not to do it, that's their, that's their signal. You know, they are, they've chosen their sides. Today is the side of choosing, is the time for choosing, meaning that, you know, like Noah Drawley said, Noah Drawley said this, when man unfolds, his God unfolds. My response on layer to that, is you better know who God is, what it is, why it is, where it is, and how. When, what, why, where, and how. 
And you're going to add that to everything that you're doing. All clear. Fearlessly. It's key to your survival. All right? Worship nothing and worship no man. But don't hesitate to go to the workshop of the mind. Because all the tools that you were needed, your mother sent you here with them on the door. So stop looking outside. What you need to do is go clean the house. Starting with dumping the God game. Because it is a game. Not to be rejected in the, you know, to the negative. It's a, game. it's a game. And it's a game beneath you, not above you. So don't uh, underestimate your capacity. If you do, you're food, so get over it. All right? Now, um, Reverend Pigfoot Jones got a big TV show, wrote 50 books, got a $50 million airplane, goes all over the world and stuff, and these big chapels that are mortgaged up to up to here with the Kazarian order and got all these women in mortgage debt thinking that they're serving Jesus. Well, fine. I'm not arguing with them. However, um, they're Roman soldiers. Get over it. And they've been ameliorating their own interests. Get over that. But you agreed to serve them, so it's like a um, nice show. But that's what it is to show. However, many of them are going to try to push you into the darkness because, because as you wake up, their institutions are going to collapse too. M meaning that you're bending their straws that bend in your neck. And they're not comfortable when you start bending the straws that's in your neck. Because blood doesn't come out quick enough. You know? Especially, you're getting garlic, you know, get some garlic juice of knowledge. And, you know, kind of changes the flavor. And you ain't into it too much. And you're definitely not into the sun, so when you go to their birthday party, don't pull up the blinds and stuff and start talking about lighting candles. Because they get upset with you. Anything with light, they get upset. Alright? If you're talking about all of these guys with these beautiful buildings that they've made the poor build over spans of generations in debt. Um, in their chambers, they're always taught. And keep this in mind, and if you doubt it, go do some research. They're told bluntly, Let this be made clear to you at all times. The church did not come from the Bible. The Bible came from the church. There's a little more to that than that, but I've told you enough. It is a tool. Have anybody, any of you seen the movie um, Book of Enoch? Yeah. Yeah. Or the Book of Eli? Yeah. Book of Eli. They're telling me. Mm, they're telling me. That's what it's for. However, if you know it, you can turn it on them. It's like a, a keto. Can be circular. Karate. It can be shifting movement. You know, the anatomy of the body, you use their weight against them. When they thrust at you, you carry it. But you don't use, you limit the use of energy and just use their momentum against them. That's how we're using the Bible. That's why Drawley said, don't get rid of your Bible, so I'm going to use that book to condemn this government. What government? The government ordinance departments of Rome. Are we clear? Because yeah. we already know that the dark priests among us is going to immediately start twisting what time you guys say. Because it's not in their economic interest either, because they've been playing around these people too. You know, foot in both camp type thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Question, Grand Sheik Islam. Um, when you just mentioned the book of Enoch, yeah, kind of like as a slip up. Not well, exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yes or so, no? Well, that's yes. what I'm saying. That's my point. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is, you know, like with the book of Enoch and it's talking about the watchers. <laughs> like, so, and how, when they were supposed to be watching us, they was raping us and, yeah. and doing away. The destroyer is doing away. Yeah, that's what we so. they're part of the network. Well, yeah, absolutely. They're but, part of the Phoenix operation. Yeah, but I was just thankful that you said the book of Enoch prior to saying the book of Eli. So I and like we said, it was slip. That. It yeah. was a slip, but um, yeah. it wasn't catchy, accidental. Catchy, yeah. It wasn't deliberately accidental. Oh, no, no. That's was. why I came out. Yeah. yeah. I got you. Okay. Because that's right. how things operate. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. You know, it was necessary, so they threw that in there. Absolutely. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but um, what we must keep in mind is that um, the passion and the emotion that these guys jump across the stage with, talking about God, the way they present it in a connotative venue for the masses, know for surety that they don't hold that position personally. This is the position they have, and this is the position they hold. Are we clear? Yes. And for those of, and uh, I had a conversation yesterday, and, um, Young brother, because let me back up a little bit, because I want to be fair to you. Um, I go on 52nd Street sometimes, so, and, I, and I go to, you know, basic Mickey D's or across the street and get coffee or something like that, and go in a corner because I can hide. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't always work. And um, so I was approached by a couple people, and they start a conversation. All right. All right. Our conversation. And you know how it gets people, they have their ears open, they have that little ring. Mm -hmm. And you know, once you start getting into the uh, sincere, raising information, it, it twists vibrations even with people that are kind of asleep. Because humans are who they are, even they, though they may be buried in, in their sauce. So, young brother interviewed. The, the conversation and um, really, you know, was really kind of like fired off um, and was asking some questions and I, um, so I'm blunt with him, very blunt with him. And of course, after a while, because his spirit wasn't clean, it started burning him, so he had to leave, hmm. right? Um, but I was, that gave me thought on this too. You know, like people say, you want the truth and then when you give them the truth, it's not that they can't handle it, it's will to handle. Humans can handle anything. Again, when I say that, I'm saying that broadly because it's kind of like true. Um, will. You know, now whether or not it was um, a test, you know, just given in, 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 in a younger form to see, you know, uh, see how far, we'll see how far we're going with this. All right. You know, and then when they see they have no power, then they run. You, you know, so you still got to see, um, recognize that you've got a lot, a lot of accelerated countermeasures taking place on, on many forms, in many forms, you know, to stop the momentum that's happening. However, it can't be stopped. Nevertheless, they're willing to um, create carnage, you know, rather than rather than straighten up. You know, there's no reason why we're doing this. Because the more you're aware of what's going on when you see certain things, because uh, 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 not unlike um, usually if, there, if you have a, a rain, a light rain, you know, nature will send you a smell. You know, or breeze. You know what I mean. Even if you're inside, you know what I mean. And after a while, you get, you know, harmonic. You can be in the dark and tell. You don't. You don't need to be out there. You, you know what I mean. And she does the same thing on multiple other levels. And the deal of this is to get in tune with yourself. 
to get in tune with yourself and respect yourself. Because the tools that you need for evolutionary development are already in self. They're not outside the self. I'm clear. And it does not mean, and I'm going to repeat this because a lot of people take it wrong. It does not mean to be narcissistic. I'm clear. It's to, to be aware that the God game that has been cultivated amongst humans on this planet is a, for the most part, in its presentments, a fraud, and designed not for your spiritual or physical development or well-being, but absolutely to the contrary, to the absolute opposite, but presented in a flowery form that you trust them. However, according to where you are vibrationally, you can be remained in what you call a, 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 a state of a, a, a static form for generations. And if you come above it, you, uh, uh, this is the, the politics. The politics with them is to have ones among you who, who monitor to see what your vibratory rate is, or your energy output is, so they, they can check you, if necessary. All right, all right, to check you if necessary, are we, are we clear? And knowing what's going on as of late, that is amped up, are we clear? So if I see it, it will appear that I'm talking on certain things randomly, that's not accidental, are we clear? Is purposeful. Um, but it's to get you to think, because if it gets you to think, keep, keep in mind that the energies are lining up to accommodate you thinking on a higher level. You're not alone to be thinking on a higher level. Don't fear to think on a higher level. Don't fear not to be yourself. This, remember this with you, because this is a conversation that I was having with, and I'm going to have this conversation with tomorrow after I leave here. When I go back, you know, someone will approach me and I'll probably have this conversation with them. Because I can see it coming anyway. Um, Most of us have been damaged by Job syndrome. The Job syndrome is that because you've been controlled by the government or the departments of Rome for so many generations, your manifest or how you have been presented to the world has been molded by your jobs meaning that you've been living according to your work assignments for so many years that the real you has been buried. You have been molded, and it's not accidental. It's a working of the, of the Draco, Paleoid, who knows how this body functions, who knows who you really are. And this is in general. And it's just to make you aware so that we can get past some of this stuff and you're not threatened by it. You have been molded from childhood, most of your life, around whatever job, jobs that you have been trained to be placed at to the degree that the real you has been buried. And so most people don't know themselves. Most people are miserably unhappy and don't know why they're unhappy. Are we clear? And that is mostly because they have been who they are not. Meaning that your effort has been molded around an image of who you are not, but who you have been 
formed or wound to serve another man as that has been your face on earth. And you have been putting most of your energy in that. And it doesn't mean that you have not necessarily enjoyed some of the things that you've done. But that's not you. Right. And so what I'm saying is learn the culture of yourself. Learn the energy of your mother. Learn the honor of your mother. And see what she gave you. See what she has in your tool basket. Look at the math of the North Node and the South Node of your sun looker. And then look at the positions. Not so much, and I'm not rejecting or dismissing the general views that you, that you take when you're looking at a, a horoscope. I'm saying look at it with more casual but respectful refinement and start seeing that and recognizing what your mother made is for the most part not who you have been. In that is most of where your conflicts are. So start fixing it. So physician, heal thyself. All right? And then from among you, I think that we can get enough soldiers to start cleaning up this planet. Islam. You know, because they're already here. It's just that they're asleep. They got sluggish well. But the other deal, we this must be moved away in order for them to work. If it's not moved away, they're, they're pretty not any of any use for us for this age, with this energy that's here. And don't get caught up in, um, I think the other thing that sometimes we get caught up in, and, and I'm, I'm guilty of it, just like many of us are, you know, caring so much that, that, that you, you put on brakes waiting for others. Mm. Oh, man. You know, and keep in mind that every man, every woman, every child is commanded in the realm of the ethereal world to confess their own. And because we've been molded by the Job system of the priesthood to suppress our development, most of us live our lives striving to satisfy that platform. Do you understand? Wow. <clears throat> and guess what it will do? It will stress you out. It will attack your nervous system. Mm -hmm. And it will suppress the pineal gland. Which is the purpose. All right. That's not a condemnation of work. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's not a rejection of work. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. It's a call to you to pay attention to what your work is and how it harmonizes or disharmonizes with you. Because most of us end up in jewels that we really don't like we're there because we need to um, eat a sandwich. Mm -hmm. And if you're stuck in eating you know, peanut butter sandwich and you ain't peanut butter, you know, at least know it. Don't think that that is your lot in life. Are we clear? But understand this. The more you're willing to be yourself, the more nature herself will just heal the rest of it. Because that's where a lot of your healing comes from. Do you understand? There ain't no mystery healing stuff. You know, you just got to change the vibration of this planet. Because we've defiled her. And so she's getting kind of sick of us, too. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the sense that we're, we have a connection going on? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Tam. Give her the mic. We have an online question. Uh, Give her the mic. Give her the mic. Hello. 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 
Islam. We have an online question from um, G Money. Um, is the North Node present life lessons to overcome our South Node past life? I'm going to add the past life. Well, sometimes it is, because some of us come back to help. Some don't need to come back. You know, and we need not get into uh, trying to necessarily recognize that. You know, it's not important. The reason I mean, you came back? To me, it's not important. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying it's not important. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, for those who are interested, look into the South to make considerations on some of the things that you're doing now that were unfinished. Because a lot of us, by not necessarily being conscious of it, uh, spend too much cycle of the cycle, uh, trying to fix without really observing what you're trying to fix. Doing it, but, you're, but this is what we keep doing. We're molded artificially with the Job operations. Yeah, yeah. And because it creates certain pressures, mm -hmm. don't confuse that with what you see in the geometry of the South or the North. Although some things may be introduced to you, not necessarily negatively, but because it's a tool for your growth. And when you start looking at the South and the North Node, you can uh, rationally, if you don't put your ego in it, start washing it out and start seeing some of the things that you're doing now are purposeful. And some of it is designed to stagnate you. And then you can determine what you want to cast off or not. That's what your baptism is. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll take a bath. <laughs> no big deal. You know, but it's here. It's here. The deal of it, what are we really seeking to do to make, to help humanity make the choice of being more effective in a shorter period of cycle than we have been doing? The priesthood has stagnated us too long. Keep this in mind. With our babies, Most of them, even though we dirtied up the planet and dirtied up the atmosphere and the women have been contaminated by Rome, still around a third of the children that come here are coming here already genius. They kill the genius by the time that they're seven. Once you give them back to Rome and they take them to the John D. Rockefeller Training Center Education. Mm -hmm. And because you didn't know that they were dark priesthood, you trust them. And then you kill the genius. Then they mold them for their use with Jew and take all their God ship from them. And make them their servants. This is what we have become, servants to Rome. You call it serfs, you can call them connotative slaves, that's what you are. You know, but I also know that if we're willing, if we're willing to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, nature herself give you your, give you your shit back. See, the deal of it is the people doubt that they can get it except through Rome. But that's part of the Phoenix operations. To con that's part of the dogma training is to make you think you are powerless. To give up your power to the idol god systems which you're really giving it to the Albion Draco order. Thinking that you're submitting to Allah, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha type thing. Which is not true at all. And it doesn't, doesn't mean that you're insincere. It means you've been played. Get over it. You've been played, and you've been played big time. I'm not condemning anything or anyone. I'm saying, uh, look at your earth. 
Look at your water. Look at your food. Look at the conditions of your family. That's right. Look at conditions of your life. Mm -hmm. That's your product. So don't tell me about your gods. Because I ain't hearing it. You understand? All I'm saying is you've been played. So get over your ego and be willing to step out of that shell and take that fence down and start thinking again and respect your mother and respect what she gave you. But you need to start looking. These tools, like your brother said, Sam, yeah. like Preston said, yeah. you know, you may look at the North Node and now in the South Node and get more refined in your looking of it. And then when you see the picture, then you come off that graphics and then go into your own mind, look at the graphics, because that's only subtle. Right. That's a subtle map. It is. That is a faded print. It is. Like a that's like a sign directed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's shaking. You know what I mean? And then, and then just trust yourself, right? And be honest, right? North node, south node, zodiac. Can you, can you, because you, you got some folk uh, out there, north node, south node, what are you talking about? Can you make it more more, more plain? Are you talking about the zodiac wheel? You talking about a sign of, of some kind? Well, yeah, yes, yes. But so let's put it this way: we're talking about a major part of religious instruction on the planet, which is cosmology, the movement, the equinoxes and eclipses of the sun, and the movements of the moon as special cycles that we call holidays. Well, let's get over it. Do you understand? So begin to comprehend what they actually generate, not just these rituals that people go through. Understand this real relationship to you. You understand? And, and, and it's, it's sort of like, um, it does not mean quit your, job, quit your job, but it does mean mentally quit your job. Don't start studying where your job has molded you into someone that you're not. Exactly. And where you have molded yourself to fit into something that, or a position that you don't damn belong in. Because based on who you really are, you've been allowing yourself to be directed by men who claim to be godly men when they were actually using you, farming you, harvesting you, and bleeding your energy, and claiming you to be in debt when you never were in debt. Are we clear? Are we clear? Clear. And while that's not the subject matter, I'm just telling you, you know, as a vignette, you know, because you need to start thinking about that. Because it's part of what we're trying to fix, but you have to fix it. And don't make it, the point I'm say, saying is don't make this stuff complex. And don't overread into anything that I'm saying. Because I'm really just saying what all of you already know. It's just that some people don't have the guts to be honest. You know what I mean? Be brave. Is that satisfactory to the mm -hmm. questioner, Sam? Um, yes. Um, right. We have another question online. I would like to say that YouTube is fired up. Mm -hmm. They are. They are um, having a good time on here. I cannot keep up. Okay, here she was. Let me see. I think it was Thomasia Bay. So, um, Thomasia, let me get back to you, darling. Here, I'm, I'm going to find you. And again, you okay, know, this is is. for some people will ask questions. Some people will ask what a lot of people are thinking, because a lot of people, we've been so suppressed yeah. or mismolded that most people 
are, are afraid to answer or question anything when it comes to the government ordinance departments. Yes. Because they don't know it's government ordinance departments. They think it's, you know, the guy with the turban on on the golden throne sitting on just beside that cloud where the sun is shining through, watching them get away to take their peanut butter sandwich if they don't ride the bike right type stuff. And it's not really, never has been true. Okay. Now, but, as you was talking about, you was talking about come out of her. Render I see this what is due. You was talking about how uh, the Joe has molded our and shaped our perception of whom we are because we have not been allowed the space to stir up the gifts that are within to flow out. Exactly. So the question Thomas C. Bay would like to know is how do we get out of the matrix in an economically fiat controlled society? Good. Starting with understanding what that matrix means womb. Mm -hmm. So how do you get away from this false mother? Woo! Mm -hmm. And get with the real. Starting with, let's start understanding what your mother gave, what is the toolbox your mother gave you? What is in the soul of man's temple? What's in Solomon's temple? That's incomplete. Mm -hmm. So on one level, you already know as far as you need some physical healing because we're in a contaminated ethereal situation now anyway because of the dark priesthood and yourself too, but you played part of this. So you know the phosphates and the salts that your mother didn't build the body with. In the three cycles of the moon, if she hasn't been tampered with, whether it is you're dealing with salts, phosphates, etc., go find the salts of the months that you're out of your mother's womb out of the 12. You know that the moon cycles on 13. So that satellite cycles on 13, it controls the water, it controls the rhythm of the water, the rhythm of the tides, the rhythm of the heartbeat, the rhythm of the blood, and its alchemical metal is silver. You know you have silver in your body and you know you have gold around your heart. You know one of the reasons that Rome came to steal your gold and the silver is because they came to steal your ecosystem. Mm -hmm. That's the economy of self. Are we clear? So it's not for spending, so you must have a comprehension of what money is in the first place. So why do we say money? Romans will say money is a Roman goddess, Moneta, and therefore they call money Moneta. No, that's BSD Dorf. <laughs> what you're dealing with is the economics of life on the earth affected by the satellite that you only see one side of, which is the moon. And we don't have to get into Tiamat and all that kind of stuff, but that's, here we go, the moon. All right. Satellite balancing things here. But it's also shading some things. Are we clear? That's a whole nother story. But let's just deal with what we're dealing with here, right? So you got it governing the, the tides, governing the flows of the fish. When you study it mathematically and study the, the pass of the waters that's been operating for, for centuries. There are certain mappings that we have done for navigating. And every once in a while, we have major shifts on the planet. So we already know that the, the land mass or Asia has shifted into parts. And so we have seven cycles or seven circles of Asia that we're dealing with still on the planet. So the connection of the seven cycles or seven churches, circle cycles on Asia must be reconnected. That will be connected back with you and you, both your mind and your concepts of what this planet is all about. So, gold is the alchemical metal for the sun. Silver is the alchemical metal for the moon. Yeah. Copper is the alchemical metal for Venus. Mm -hmm. Venus and the moon pretty much have what you call a more, even though it's other planetary operations too, more direct energy of alignment or conjoinment with the operations of the Ankh or the moon system, right? With the uterus, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, moon and the ecosystem or the economy is 
deal with the cycles of the moon, how the moon interacts with you, how you interact with the moon, therefore, the money system is your relationship to nature and the elements on the earth in their relationship to the other planets and your connection to them in interchange in both your body fluids, in your salts, phosphates, mm -hmm. and we only use the metal manifest for trade because that represents honor. And we establish that on this planet, it's also on other planets, but on this earth planet, and therefore, anything else they tell you that, that is money, they're lying. So let's get over that. All clear? Yeah. All clear. You can use some other things as a medium of exchange, but it ain't money. <laughs> Don't ever mix your argument with that argument. All clear? Wow. Don't ever let Rome tell you that something he created with his a debt note and tell you that it is a dollar bill. Oxymoron. It can't be a bill and a dollar at the same time. Because Yachim dollar means gold coin. And a bill implies a debt. That's right. So let's get clear on that. So you got to get clear in your mind. You got to break that spell. Because the earth is already yours. You're dealing with an estate that you lost to the Roman Inquisition. Are we clear? The politician on the planet is where Rome declared themselves God, and then declared you dead. Hmm. Their, 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 their favorite passage is called Unum Sanctum. That's really what the U.S. When you hear, when you hear these Romans talk about the U.S., Unum Sanctum. you're thinking United States. They're thinking Unum Sanctum. When these Romans say U.S., it's Unum Sanctum. But when they train you, they're telling you it's a nation state. But we've been telling you for years the United States is a political metaphor. Estados Unidos do México. Estados Unidos do Brazil. Is that not true? Mm -hmm. San Salvador, United States of America. Mexico, United States of America. Brazil. United States of America. United States is all over the place. You better know what one you're talking about. Then they got multiple shells of corp corpses that they build and drain systematically. Since they killed uh, Lincoln, who was the last Republic president operating on our land under the treaty and the Constitution. There was no lawful president according to our law, operating on our land with what you would call civil jurisprudence authority on this land since Abraham Lincoln. Anyone else has been a fraud. Not that we didn't have issues with, with Abe. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not defending him. It's the last president. Get over it. Since then, all you've had is secret oligarchs operating for the secret treaty of Verona for the United States Corporation in Vienna. Now that's true. All clear, and that's what your colonial operations are. So now you got to clear this up in your mind before you can talk about economics, unless you're not. Yep. Because all they're doing with the private commercial paper that you call fiat, and understand it's not so much that it is fiat, it is categorized as fiat, but it is private commercial papers under fiat declaration of Rome's claim for the economies of the earth control, etc., i.e., controlling your estates through bookkeeping. Don't confuse that with economics in the sense that they told you that it, it itself has value. It has none. It only has value for them keeping books. It has no value like gold or silver, and it is not money. Don't call it, don't equate it. Separate them every time you're speaking of because one of the things that they do with the Draco order of the of, of the paleoid operations under the German tribes uh, operating at North America under the Spanish Inquisition against the Moors and Yahudi is to take your gold and silver, your physical land, etc., give you a debt note, and then claim for you to pay them more gold and silver to satisfy the debt note. That is a fraud from the beginning, and even the paper and the pulp 
that they print it on, they stole that from you too. <laughs> it's so like somebody come to your yard, chop down your cherry tree. Chop down a cherry tree. <laughs> anyway. And then make you go dig some gold and silver up on your land to buy the cherries that they stole from you that was already yours. And then take and make some pulp. Give you a job and make some pulp out of the bark of the cherry tree that they stole from you and then print some bills on it and say that they paid you. And then say you owe them some more cherries and some more gold and some more silver so go dig it up. And this is literally what they've been doing to you. And none of this stuff is theirs. And understand that the Ibrida is not aboriginal or indigenous to any part of the planet Earth. I repeat. The Ibrida is not aboriginal or indigenous to any part of the planet Earth. You said Ibrida. So get over it. Anybody in here know what Ebrita is? No, Todd, sure. stop. You might call him Albion. Come on, Todd. And, you know, what we allow, we call them European. He's not. For the Germanic tribes. But they're not German either. But you can. Are they Austrian? You know, they're the Albion, and it's not a negative. It's just that you got to start, you got to start putting things and saying what things are if you. If you want to fix the economy, fix yourself. Wow. If you really want to kind of have a better comprehension, look back into the hole from which you were dug. Mm -hmm. You want to find your God? Start digging in you. Wow. If you dig out, you're already lost. Because that's, right. that's the game, to make you go out. See, as long as you go out, you don't grow. If you go in, go to the deepest depths to reach the highest heights. Oh, um, is that satisfactory? Yes. Yeah. All right. Always. Now again, one of the reasons why um, we're mentioning this to you because I know that most people, it doesn't dawn on them that this is what's happening. And, and so uh, many of them think or may think that this is just our idea or our take on this. And it's not. This is actually the politics. So when you're looking at Reverend Super duper pastor bishop of the skies of Jesus Christ incorporated under the 501c3 skull and bones agreement um, with the Boulay operations of loving Jesus stuff in the communities of the poor marching them around the place and everything. When they get their LLDs, they already know this. Uh, they will never talk to you on this level because they take a death oath, not an ordinary oath, a death oath not to reveal the secrets. And the secrets are what God is, what God is not, what money is, what money is not, what law is, and what law is not. And that's your major tri trinity of operations. The major trinity of operations that the masses get dog model, they do not get religion. Second, they get no justice, they get color of law, they get no orderly government, they get color of authority. They get no orderly due process. They get color of office. Color of authority, color of law. That's the operations. And so when you figure this out and you go look for Jesus or justice with them, um, they will turn you in circles and hang you. That's how they do. All clear. So don't look for justice in them. It's not in them. John 8, 44. Get the, the book, please. This is, this is their um, Eli book that they use to rob the people. So let's, let's, let's use their book against them and give the people back some of them. John 8, 44.
And then after that, you, you go to you the belong, You belong to your father, the devil. And you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth. For there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native tongue, his native language. For he is a liar and the father of lies. All right, now let's go to Thessalonians 1 and 2. Now keep in mind, these are the people that are teaching you your God concepts. These are the ones who commissioned the modification of the books out of Septuaginta and out of the Book of the Dead, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And these are the ones that study ancient Hukukta, Egypt, and Babylon, and then turn positive things negative. And have people thinking that everything that's Babylonian is negative, and it's not. It's misrepresented. And the other deal of it is, is put on masks. They're not who they say they are, and they will call you who you're not, and then they'll present to you godships that are not godships in the concept that you think it is, and then they'll give you secularism flavors. You'll call them denominations or sects. And that is only for them to deal with the mental degrees that they find humanity in so they can suck their energy on whatever level of vibration they're on. When actually all them straws should be broken. So we're gonna take the two-edged sword and just chop all them little straws that they got going on with humanity, which is, this is just one of the exercises. Just one of the exercises. Go ahead, brother. Where, where, where you wanna to go, Josh? To go how you feel. You said you said you want to go somewhere in First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, what yeah. scripture you want? Yeah, go ahead. First Thessalonians. They set themselves on the throne. Claim to be God. Do you think? Not fine. At any rate, point that I'm making to you, and then also want you to go back to the genetic operations. And then go to the making of man or the modification of the evil. In the book of, of genetics, you will see you will see them say, let us make man. You can go to that too. And and be feel free to interject. Help him out. This is a, some kind of other version. Oh, yeah. Let me just go ahead. All right, do, do you think? I think there's one up on, this, up, up on the shelf, too. see as you read John 8 44 what was the nature of that presentment or that counter rebuttal against their claim that is a rebuttal it was yes let me let me go um, 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 genetics 126 and God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowl and over the air and over the cattle and over the earth, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Now stop right there. Now repeat the first sentence. And God said, let us. Now stop. So you got us again, don't you? So you also got us, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you see Uno Sanctum operations? 
That's <laughs> Is that not a plural? That's right. Yeah. Let us, U.S., make man in our image. Yeah. So therefore, there's a modification going on, isn't it? Islam. Now, there's an interruption, isn't it? There's an interruption within the existing species. There is. Mm -hmm. The let, let me let me let me give you a, 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 an interruption that, that's a real blow up. Go down one more verse, and we, we're, we're in Genesis. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Re means do again, doesn't it? It means do again. So if what, 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 what's being told to us in the writing here is that this ain't the first time around. You got that right twice. <laughs> He says, replenish. Right. And for right. those of you King James Version folk, it says replenish, which means something was there, then taken away. Now you got to do it again, so you have to replenish. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And this same writing is in the Quran, is in the... Uh, Pentateuch is in the, the all the holy books of the primary three religions. And this is the book of Genesis, mm -hmm. and they all share Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Now, point is, first you want to deal with the the fact of of um, plurality. Now, in order to disguise their operations. And their modern approach to the conquest operations called the Phoenix Program, one of that's one of their favorites, Phoenix Program, is still the Spanish Inquisition. And still them claiming to be God. And there's a plurality there, isn't it? So in order to condense or to fence these people in, this is uh, where you have your monotheic operations that they break down and they um, attribute to rock, stuff like that. Um, That's right. And so they say, Amen, rock. Amen, rock. And so they'll say, Amen, but not rock. So the people don't understand where they're tracing this stuff to. Are we clear? Yeah. Clear. So clear. they'll end their projections. They'll call their projections for mind control prayers, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people who really don't recognize that their dark priesthood never think about P-R-E-Y, they're thinking P-R-A-Y, of what they told it was to invoke. Now when you see the Germanic meaning of the word God, what it really means, you can see even where the rituals come out when they do libation. That's right. They pour out, they That's right. invoke is praying for the calling upon. And so you see, it's really an action. So when you see people going through these processes of calling out to the energies in the universe that they know little to nothing of, because it's unseen, but they assume, and they know the elements that made them up is part of these energies that are embodied within it, and the closest thing they can recognize where these energies are brought together into a concentrated form to build these temples is in the womb of woman. Therefore, you have the Ankh in the ancient world, which is the uterus, the fallopian tubes, and the birth canal, which represent government, the great, beautiful monarch mother, monarch. Butterfly. So these little symbols that come up over the millennia with humans have origin with us, but are often later misrepresented as some evil formats. Are we clear? But understand, the only God that you can prove is your mother. Are we clear? However, 
in, in effort to project what we may think is some exterior honor because we're told those things by the priesthood. We keep looking out and searching and searching and searching and searching. And it's not that there's nothing else to look at. It's not that. But if you dishonor the gate that you come from, don't talk about some gate you do not see. Are we clear? So if you want to know something about the gates that you do not see, look back into the hole from which you were dug. Get over it. And then learn how the elements have operated with that matrix that made you up. And if you're not willing to learn the science that has been established already, to give you a picture look, mathematically, into the salts and the phosphates, and to the positions and, and the sidereal locations of things when your mother was building this temple that manifests as you. If you're not willing to look at that, don't talk about no other mysteries because you're disqualified. You've disqualified yourself. And it's not a condemnation. It's just, do you really want to be liberated from Rome or do you not? Take the choice. If you're going to, one way to begin, and this is back to the question that was you know, presented earlier, that's why you look at the North and the South New. Why are you here and what you like? Because all the stuff is a cycle. Get over it. Don't be confused about it. Start learning the truth about where those books lead and not what the priesthood told you because they've been in place to stagnate your growth. Are we clear? So when you're looking, they don't want you to recognize the truth of the plurality of energies so that you have no comprehension of how things work. In other words, they're removing you from the thought processes of the logistics of the universe and giving you a, a false anthropomorphic one-point perception, which is really a lock-in, and telling you that they've introduced you to God. Do you understand? And of course, this is why they never emphasize the genetic operations. Let us make man, which is a plural. Because if they have to explain that, all the rest of the crap that they've told you starts falling apart. So people read past that as if they have not read a plurality. And this is why the overemphasis on monotheism is presented to the masses is part of the purpose of enslaving you. That enslavement is, of course, a connotative presentment, or how do you say, making you, push, pushing you into the pee in this cage. So I'm giving the mic, please. Islam, um, when in in creating that that illusion to 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 people with regard to the uh, origins of their of our beginnings, they turn the God into a, a plural being. That's how they that's how they account for the us, you know, See, Father. Is... Yeah, what, what what I'm saying, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They negate the divine feminine anyway. Exactly. And they use that as a way of covering up the fact that God, in the sense of creation, is a plurality, may it be, of beings, if you will, of scientists, of whatever. The, the first point is that I'm making is the, is, the, is the presentment that the word God means the creator in the first place. If they, the fact that they've established that in your mind is the major source of their power over you. Yes. Yes. Are we clear? Clear. You know, now of course, now it must be qualified. What are you talking about? He, she, it, they? Is it gender? Is it entity? Of uh, spirit? Spirit? The spirit means breath. It does not mean praying or it means breath. Do so you see the point? So the point of it is for them to have to explain that kills all of the platforms for mind control. 
Right. All clear. Because the real deal of it is if now and, and this is a provocation. So the best way that you can really honestly explain what the masses have been trained to call God is simply say sources. The sources. That the unknown sources that we're interested in, we're curious about, but we do not know. All clear. clear. However, what we do know, we do know that some energies that are provable have been used by the source that we can prove, which is our mother's womb. So therefore, to, to give some comprehension to it for our children as they're growing, you know, uh, for harmony, because we're thinking social beings, is to make images in the format of our mothers. If you get the point, because that's the only proof you have. Anything you say outside of that is speculation. Get over it, it's speculation. But it doesn't mean don't look at things. But don't disregard that which is and provable while trying to claim with a sense of authority that you have no grounds on. Are we clear? Not only that, and this is the point, when you go into the books, and you start looking at the book for what they are actually saying, not what the priesthood tells you. Contradictions will pop up left and right, which is why they never analyze the books. They always give you mystery games because they've been gaming you, they know they've been gaming you, and they know that they've been pilfering you, and they know that they've been stealing the widow's pennies. Now, according to nature, Women always produce social reformers because it's a part of the human spirit operations, the human genome operations, which means mothers for sake of life of the species will from time to time, according to her own projected energy, produce what you would call um, alphas among ourselves, whether male or females, and they will be assigned to do something that's contributory to the human species. That's how things work. Problem is, for the dark priesthood, they have suppressed that knowledge in women artificially so that she does not harmonize with nature to decide what she brings here herself but that they can interfere with her, whether through food, chemicals, psychology, etc., to produce docile beings so that they can serve them. All right. And that's what the dogma of God system serves for, to keep these people docile. Because the nature of woman, just no different than the birds and the bees, nature of a bee is, and that's why this, if you really study what birds and bees story, what they meant in the ancient world, this is what it means in the world. The queen, and there ain't no king throne. King throne's a sign, it's an after the fact thing. There's only one queen throne in, in the beehive. All right, and she makes everybody. All right, so let's get this over with. So they'll have uh, certain daughters that will be chosen in cycles. And they'll choose the cycles and choose certain daughters and say, oh, y'all get them over there and get this and that and them, bring them over here and put them over this thing. Now you give them royal jelly and then dance and then we do our dance. <laughs> All kinds of stuff, right? And so they dance and this is how it works. Now we don't know, but we know what they do. So let's study them to study us, right? And so they give them royal jelly Right, royal honey, and then they become males. They call them drones. But all of them are females. All a woman does is reproduce herself. And so father, the word father, comes from paternity, comes from process. It doesn't really mean gender in the way that we've been trained. Are we clear? That's not to neglect what it is, but to understand what you're dealing with. 
Now, for a woman to rule the planet, they have to suppress the power of woman because the woman is the natal principle, is the center of life. This is why they have no women in the bishopric priesthood of Rome. Are we clear? Yeah. Why? Because yeah. she's the target. Mm. So that they can rule. Are we clear? Clear. And this is why they wear dresses and everything to imitate her. Are we clear? Are we clear? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. We gotta get rid of these dead concepts if we're gonna fix this planet. Are we, are we clear? Yeah. However, woman has to be cleaned up because she's been contaminated with the belief systems that, so that she can stop giving docile energy to her offspring. And that she can get back to, back to, consciously, consciously, building the champions that are necessary to fix this planet. Islam. Are we clear? Islam. Male and female by knowledge, not by happenstance. You know, not one night stand, oh, ooh, that's what happened. It's won't work like that. You're supposed to know what you're doing, Master Builder. And to get back to that in nature, you must give back to Rome what Rome gave you to suppress it. Oh, yeah. And that is what? The misrepresentations, plural, of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're clear. Right. And not be fearful to do it. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, I just want to interject with what you were saying, some of the things that are also that are misrepresented, misrepresented um, and that we overlook, people in the pews overlook, when the Bible talks about, and, and um, Brother Mustafa just brought it to my attention, the Bible you know, talks about, thou shalt have no other gods before me. So allegedly God is saying to the people that they could not have any gods before or in, in, in addition to, which would in, in and of itself let you know of the multiplicity that was at least two but we also know that they took the stories some of the these the stories you know those who know of inky and, and lil and so forth you see god throughout the bible seemingly to be schizophrenic one one minute he loves the people and the next minute he wants to destroy them well what they don't realize is that those are two different entities battling for control of now, the people so now you see that even with the imagery or the stories of the so-called Satan, Satan or the devil, etc., who's so one of the God's boys, right? Who was considered on a high angle or rank. Clear. They'll say angel, high angle. Clear. So we're not just talking about sun rays, rise, you know, right? We're looking at the anthropomorphic. Right? Um, so they start competing. And according to the book, though people don't like to go into it for what's really there, the God pumped out, the devil out and pumped out and been running ever since and charging everybody else to overcome this devil that is his boy. Is that not the truth? <laughs> no, no. Absolutely. The point that I'm making, once you start looking at what they have been presented to the masses as religion, has really been competitive mind control operations of other entities and other beings competing with each other, with us being the food and the spoils. And them not wanting you to grow to your capacity so that you won't ascend beyond them, and logically they'll have no jurisdiction over you at that point anyway. So they know in the nature of yourself, uncontaminated or not interfered with, that you will excel even beyond them. Therefore, some of the things they have done, you will do even greater things. And they don't want you to ever get to that point. But also, they don't want you to become conscious of that. 
which is another reason we're having this conversation. Because until you're willing to render on the season these idol God systems given to you, you will never begin to accelerate because you're actually suppressing yourself. In other words, the key is that they put they put you in your own coffin through your mental. It's hard. If you come out of that shell, the sun, the moon, the stars will do their job. It is no different, no, no different than taking a beautiful plant and a beautiful seed and putting it under a rock. It will grow, but it will pale for the lack of the inner energy that's necessary with the sun, the moon, and Venus. And this is what they have done to us with dogma in the name of religion. Therefore, you must render, give back to Caesar what is Caesar, and that is his BSD door bullshit that they have fed to the planet in the name of religion, which is really dogma. And you must study the culture so that you can make discernment like refiner soap and tell the one or separate the wheat from the chaff and tell the difference and know it, not guess it. And then start trusting yourself. Because the people who've been telling you that they've been leading you right, clearly your society is a reflection of that product. So if you trust them anymore and keep giving your energy to them, understanding that you're serving the dark side. Trust that your mother already gave you the tools in you. You just got to go in and start finding them. Wow. Oh, clear. <laughs> and there, and it's, you're, not, you're not unable to do that. You are able to do that. You have not been willing to do that because you know that to do that, you got to dump those belief systems. Yeah. Well, dump them. <laughs> and don't be afraid to dump them. Oh, clear. But again, and I'm going to remind you because everybody wasn't here earlier, keep in mind why, and you know it, but I'm, I'm just going to mention it again. Why do all your so-called leading, they call leading, they ain't your damn leaders. The leading men and women, that means those people who are governing over your lives, and most of it's arbitrary. You ain't elect none of their asses. You understand? That's true. That's right. let's, 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 let's get that out of the way. <coughs> Whether they are Knights of Malta, Knights of Columbus, Shriners, Master Masons, Illuminati, Eastern Stars, Daughters of the American Revolution, Odd Fellow, Kaikos, Ku Klux Klan, Union Guard, White Camellia, Dual Society, on and on and on. Why do all the so-called governors, people who are governing in different government orders on the planet Earth in the different so-called nation states belong to secret societies? Is because they are taught and told directly and charged with not telling the masses. This is what their, their so-called defo are. You know, cut throat, cut your tongue out, cracks, floating in the watershed. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, thank you. Casting out the window, they call it casting out the window, mean blocking information, expurgatorious, prohibitory, and all that kind of stuff. It's because they're told that this was God's mean. Yeah. They are told directly they are told directly that this is what God means. It's an acronym. All clear? Yeah. clear. So they know that God is the combined entity of the governing departments set up by Rome for rulership on the planet Earth. All we clear? Not a being. It is a network of operations. All clear? Yeah. Yeah that controls the resources on the earth, that controls the people on the earth, that controls their dispensation of knowledge, that controls the institutions over them, that restricts, constricts, obstructs, and limits their development to the benefit of Rome and Rome's familiars, which would which really mean their boys and their friends, and the bishoprics, and that's how things operate on the planet earth, and I'm saying to you, 
we intend to bring that to a screeching halt. Are we clear? Clear. And you're a part of it. You ain't been in that damn club anyway. All you've been is a product of that club. Mm -hmm. Slime, good brother. Give the brother Mike. Um, I actually ran into, uh, I guess, a Mason Bible. And it, it teaches, it, <laughs> it tells the people how, or tells the reader how to herd the people like sheep so that you can penny feed them. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even gone through the whole thing. But this is a, a, not a regular Bible at all. And I was like... And it also tells them that, again, what we said earlier before you all came in, they're, all, they're already trained and know that the church didn't come from the Bible, that the Bible came from the church. Although the Bible itself is not necessarily their literature. The modifications came from them. The misrepresentations came from them. The, different, the, the deliberate uh, omissions in the operations of Phoenix came from them. The peaceful family operations came from them. They're all connected even up unto this day. This is why anyone loosely, loosely, when we say Mason, you know Mason means mother and son. Well, you know that that's what it means. On a divine level, However, on a political level, it's a fraternal order. And the fundamentals of it is not necessarily always maintained in honor. Are we clear? Yeah, clear. Not to be confused with the information, with the knowledge. Are we clear? Yeah. Meaning that do not confuse, as an example, to, to give you another perspective, do not confuse the mission of water just because you know somebody that drowned in it. <clears throat> Are we clear? Yeah, clear? And you don't condemn the water because someone drowned and you can't dance swim. Mm -hmm. Same thing with masonry, which is you can look at it as a conglomeration and an order operations of preserving true history of humanity, humanity on earth. The sciences, the disciplines, um, the governing capacities, the knowledge of how things work. Now, so when someone misuses that knowledge, make that distinction. Don't condemn masonry. Do you, do you understand? Because essentially it represents earth knowledge, even though it may be inadequate. Are we clear? Uh, you can look at it as organized library. <coughs> Without the lies necessary. Oh, oh, clear. So, when you look at. You want to say anything? One? <laughs> so, when you look at um, the necessity of how these institutions are used, people who are in a position of power, they will usually, well, usually, we can say it's a little bit above usually. It's almost definitively. We'll pull them into one of the lodges and give them certain about a, 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 a level of knowledge and information and get them either compromised or committed not to speak on certain operations of how things really take place on this planet in order for them to maintain the artificial caste system they've created on the planet. All clear. Clear. And to protect. The, the imitators, imitators of the Godship game from the masses finding out that they're imitators and frauds and opportunists and vampires and demons and aliens all mixed together. That's right. Are we, are we clear? Yeah. And pretty much have, instead of allowing humanity to develop, have been using us as food on multiple levels. And that's more like the truth of what's been going on. And then them arguing with each other for, for competitive power. Therefore, you know, they have no gods, no boys beyond me, you know, no, no, don't be giving the other dime five cents. 
You pay your tithe, tax, tithe, tax, tithe, 10% Roman tax. Yeah, you're right. That's what that's all about. Now, the deal of it is, humanity must be liberated, and the best way to you, for humanity to liberate is not from some outside force, but humanity to decide that they're going to stop serving Rome. You stop serving Rome, and nature herself will open up other doors. So don't look for some mystery gods outside the mystery world beyond Tiamat and shit. Don't worry about what's on the dark side of the moon. What's, worry about what's on the other side of that coin that's in your hand or not. And we're not talking about being materialistic in that sense of the word means that start respecting that which is before you and stop spending your energy trying to analyze that which is not before you. Before to analyze anything in the universe, you must pick a point of reference. And it begins with you. Therefore, I, self, law, am master. Islam. Islam. And we ain't talking about salami baloney. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. So if you want to do circumambulation, we are talk, talking to a brother yesterday, you want to make them center those counterclockwise circumambulation ritual around Kaaba, Right? Yeah. Then you should be thinking about how come Aunt Hagar is buried in that in, in there? How about where did Aunt Hagar rule? It happened to be South America. Oh, oh, that, that uh, meteorite over there in the other corner. Oh. <coughs> What's that all about? How come we go counterclockwise? Seven times. How about the, uh, the degrees that are represented by each one of those seven circles which are in Asia? What does that mean? How about let's get into the science of this thing. Mm. And then once you get into the science of this thing, we don't need to do the ritual. We need to understand the uh, orbital planes, don't we? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Get out of the ritual and start getting scientific about what this is all about. If, if, if they ain't going to teach you science, don't do the ritual. I mean, they ain't going to tell me why I got training wheels. No, I don't want to ride a bike. Mm -hmm. But you do the word. No, 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 sorry, I got something to do. No, I'm going to play basketball. Yeah, but you got to. No, 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 no. The red pill or the blue pill? No, I'm going to get one of my bikes. <laughs> <laughs> no, excuse my expression, buddy, buddy. How about getting like that? Stop cooperating, in other words. And nature herself will start coming to your rescue. Trust me. Trust you. Go ahead, good brother. I, I, have, I have two questions, but um, I was doing some reading, and 1871, the Act of Congress gave the... Uh, District of Columbia, a separate government. On Gave? Seven. No. Claim. Claim. Yeah. Yeah, right. They ain't giving nobody else's stuff to somebody. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I had an interest of the NRA, and I read some things, and I recognized that the birth of them was November 10, 1871. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a correlation to those, that organization and let's keep this clear this is for the listeners political concept is important for that period you know whether you're dealing with the November or the February 2nd so you're dealing with the period of time this is what must be understood and everybody must be clear on this The coup d'etat that took place with, uh, against the Abraham Lincoln administration, which, mind you, they're duplicating with Trump right now. Yep. March 27th. You got to, you got to, you got to know history to understand politics, and you cannot look at it in a vacuum. I'm clear. 
because they're not operating the way they've been training these people to operate. So open your mind up. Are we clear? We're clear. Now back to the point, if, if a thought comes to you, save it and ask the question. With the overthrow, this is the intent, the intent of the operations of Phoenix during the period of Abraham Lincoln. The purpose was to overthrow the republic order of the Fatwa law of the Anahonasi so that they would not have to honor the treaties and obligations to the people of the land because of the intent of the enforcement of the Unum Sanctum operations of their doctrine of discovery for claiming our land and estates. Are we clear? clear. Lincoln was an obstacle. All clear. Clear. In order to operate or establish the political platform for the Unum Sanctum operations, the Republic order would disallow it. Therefore, they needed to overthrow the Republic. Are we clear? Lincoln, being a member of the bar, think of Article of Amendment 13 that they don't show in the Constitution anymore, that a ballot bar social member cannot hold office in the United States or in the order of the Union. All clear, so keep that in mind. Um, however, Lincoln was not cooperating with them helping to overthrow the Republic. And to the contrary, he, with um, uh, uh, another, um, you might call Lieber, you know like the Lieber code that is used in international law now? Well, Lieber was one of his advisors in the background was talking about the karmic debt. And so this is, has much to do with um, Lincoln's considerations on uh, what you would call the 40 acres and the mule thing that you never saw manifest, which is a countermeasure to the Unum Sanctum operations of the Europeans claiming our land and our states. So they needed to get rid of Lincoln. That's not supporting Lincoln, telling you he's a great guy, I mean, just telling you what's really going on. The politics that most people don't know and don't look at. Are we clear? So with the 40 acres and the mule, every man, woman, and child, they would have ended up giving the land back. Are we clear? Now they've already been in the process of covering up the history by calling us Indians. Creating these fictions in order to disconnect us from the land and disconnect us from each other getting different ones among us to agree to be Indians when we know damn well we ain't. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then corrupting the names of the territories and the tribes and the families, are we clear? clear? And then mixing some of the confederations as if they were names of the tribes or attributes of the tribes. You like they'll say, um, mm, Equal, equal. It's an honesty. And any Indians, that's a confederation. Powhatan, confederation. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So, and the laws, the principal laws that settled them into harmonic order to operate here and stop fighting among each other while they're trying to get our stuff, um, is the law of the great peace. The Shnava of the great tree, the great peace. This is why you also see the tree in the flag for the continent. That's where that adopted from, the tree of the great peace. So the Constitution, just like Obama has been telling everybody, come from Muslim law. They come from you, not from them. So they needed to overthrow Lincoln because Lincoln was not going along with the secret treaty of Verona to overthrow the republic. See Article 1, that's for you all researchers. Are we clear? Hold that question too. So, March 27, 
these are just simply uh, days that are marked, but you already know the operations were going on before and even after. So you look at these days as more or less what you call timelines. I mean, it ain't come up on that day, but these are timelines. So the plot to get rid of Lincoln was the, also the plot to overthrow the Republic. They couldn't do that with Lincoln. He was in the way. Just like Donald Trump is in the way right now because he's messing up the network that was set in place since then. Because so many things that Donald Trump is doing is flavored with restoring the Republic, distinguished from the democracy platform that's been operating here. So they're looking at him different than the masses are. If you observe, so you gotta kinda look at what's taking place, not the imagery that they tell you to look at, not the diversion. And like I said, I'm not defending Donald Trump. But Donald Trump, not Republican in the sense of the party, he's Republican in sense of the Constitution for the United States. Because the things that he's proposing for the most part, and I'm not defending all that he's doing. Because I'm also looking past that, but I'm looking on the surface too. Uh, represent a republic form of government, distinguished from the, the uh, mobocracy set forth by the, by the chancery church operators of the Circle Church in the Chancery from London, from England, Fleet Street, uh, who's controlling the judicial branch of government here since 1871. Are we clear? Yeah. Okay. That's their kind of like their official coming out of, out of a closet party. So look at it as a span, a 10 year span of getting organized openly, secretly to get stable, to exercise the feudal law operations of the barristers of, of England and setting up the Bar Association, locking them in into the positions of government to assure of the overthrow of the Republic. And the plan to do it incrementally, to limit the probabilities, high probabilities of the people rebelling. And setting up the art of foolery by which they would think that you're helping them when you're actually undermining them. Are we clear? clear. I.e. masking. Masking, are we clear? There you have what? Mm. Prima facie operations. De facto operations distinguished from de jour. And the political jargon and semantics necessary to both build, maintain, and manage and administer this platform of feudal law operations without the masses becoming aware of it. And if they do, that the judicial branch of government must be neutralized, whereas they have no remedy. Are we clear? So, in a paragraph or two statement. 1861, coup d'etat against Abraham Lincoln administration. Within the span of 10 years, with the intention and the succession of assassination of him to make sure that he's out of the way. Also the opening and the closing of the Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, and Abandoned Lands that dealt with the Aboriginal people of the land. Oh, yes. Then the closing of the um, Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen, which assured that these people would not get the 40 acres and the mule, nor get any of their resources back and that the branding system could be instituted and reinforced in order to also disengage them from the land. So now they needed to them for themselves to be well organized because it can't be just an idea. You've got to have this stuff under control. So within a 10 years period, around February the 2nd, 1871, they pretty much had to, you know, come to a general consensus that they got this grounded. So 1871, they come out, 
open in the open with the Organic Act of Congress, 1871. So what is that? This is what it is. They succeeded in getting rid of Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln being the last president for the republic, and keeping this from the people. What do you do? You set up a secret governing body that claims the authority of the republic, but is not the republic. Guise is itself with the authority of the republic and exercising the seats of the republic while being in absolute opposition to the republic, i.e. the people. You gotta remember when you talk about republic, don't think this platform, political platform, think the people. Mm -hmm. Are we clear? Yeah. And the treaty that supersede the Constitution that they're obligated to, Article 6. Yeah. Are we clear? clear? And the branding of the people to also disconnect them, think original Article Amendment 13 with its 20 sections, sometimes referred to as the 1320. Right? Now, think also the uh, ordinance of 1787, which they agreed before the adoption of the Constitution, after the finalization of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, and they agreed to the Republican order of government and the protection of the people of the land via the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, and via the Ordinance of 1787, and then reaffirmed in the Constitution for the United States. So they had to wash away the consciousness of the Treaty and the Ordinance. Lincoln was in the way. February the 2nd, 1871, their coming out party, they had general consensus agreement. Are we clear? Clear. During that period of time, they solidified, solidified, and write this down so you don't forget it, and we remember this all this time, because this is, the, this is still the God purging ourselves of God, the destroyer. Because this is part of the God destroyer operations. Because they, they, they've been systematically destroying us. But they've been having another face, you get the point? And we thought it was another face. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why things are so bad politically and economically on the land for the people. Because their concept of God has always been wrong. And they've allowed the God entity operations to do their work unchecked. Now the cancer must be cut out. Or you're going to, you see, you're going to, you or the cancer, you can decide what you're going to do with this. And keep in mind, when the constellation cancer comes in, of the 29th, you're going to have a major eclipse that ain't happening for a while, and you're going to see a lot of changes you better get ready for. It. So, you now have what? The Congressional U.S. Un Sanctum Oligarch board of directors that have solidified their political platform <coughs> February 2nd, 1871 with the intention of promoting in the education systems platform through the churches, civic groups, and the schooling systems though limited and through their press that their own the country to claim the land and to start those operations with everybody being generally in agreement. So now you have a secret oligarchy pretending to be Congress because Congress was dissolved. The Republic Congress was dissolved. It's called Senadia. Meaning it was done. No plans for readjournment in and on and for the Republic Platform Jurisdiction Authority 
legitimate under the Constitution. Otherwise, they set up a cabal and then put the face on of legitimate government. And they agreed to keep fooling the people from that day on. And systematically, to the contrary, enforced the secret treaty of Verona, which they also introduced into the Congress, I think it was 1866 or something like that, when they introduced it into the record. 1822. All right, 1822? All right. Now, so that's into the record. Article 1, their inflation with the German banks, including Deutsche Bank. Mm -hmm. So this is why I'm saying you got to kind of look at the tags that are also on him on the other side. However, on the front and on the face, look at them, the Ku Klux Klan, trying to repeat the operations that he did against Lincoln. It just happened to be Donald Trump now. So don't get confused with the personalities. All right, you got to look at Donald Trump is not the target. He's the target in the view of the people. The people are the target. Their attack on Donald Trump is an attack on you. If you keep looking at Donald Trump, your concepts will be wrong. Not that they're not attacking him. If, you got to really understand how politics really work. So whenever you're looking at any of these congressmen, congresswomen, Democrat, or so-called Republican, you call them rhinos, whatever you want to call them, they are private oligarchs. They are not legitimate government at all and haven't been since 1871. Their whole missionary operation was to rob the people of the land, continue the Unum Sanctum operations and the doctrine of discovery of the Popes of Rome, loot the land, and drop the shell, which is why they had been systematically moving all industry off the land since um, Clinton or before the administration. They accelerated. This was all of those agreements that they because he's forcing them to have to bring business back here to North America. You gotta look beyond what you think, what they're telling you. And I'm, again, like I say, I'm not defending Trump. I'm telling you, you gotta look at what's really going on. Don't get caught in personalities, I'm clear. clear. Look at product. You know, don't look, don't look at how somebody boasts and how they can blow the sacks. Go in your Trump car and give the sacks, let me see, let me see how you sound. <laughs> don't talk about you got cold. <laughs> And this is what you want to look at. Don't start looking at, oh, I don't like him. Why do you think they keep calling him racist? They, they divert you and everything to divert you from what he's really doing. Oh, he's prejudiced because he's got a wall. He's building that wall in, in Mexico. That wall's been there. Well, he's doing some patching to stop the drug trade. Doing some patching to stop because... Not necessarily Mexicans bringing drugs in, the CIA bringing drugs in. Right. What was that then? The FBI? Mm -hmm. They the ones been putting it in their communities. That's right. And then making the people pay for them to defend the people who they've never defended. They've been the enemies of the people. Mm -hmm. And claiming to be a branch of government. And getting funded by the people. And Donald ain't been exactly cooperating with them. This is why they've been doing stuff to him and impeaching him with no charges, making stuff up. You know, really, we have proof there's a phone call that he took Ronald McDonald's shoes. Notice his shoes there. Oh, these shoes don't look orange and yellow and shit. Well, they are. He did painted them. We have a witness that said he did on Thursday. You know, and this is what they've been doing. They've been doing stuff for 43 and a half years. You know, really, you got to pay attention to, and then if you understand government, let's, let's cut to this. If you understand government, in order for them to impeach Donald Trump, they would have to have presented those articles of impeachment to the Senate before they impeached him. Right. Which means they never intended to impeach him, because they knew they couldn't. They didn't present that. So they, exactly. But they know that these people don't understand government and never read constitutions. 
and that they themselves have been outside of constitutional principles so they can be played. What they're doing is buying time so he does not unravel their network around the world. They're the criminals. They're doing what is called projection. Go ahead. And like we said yesterday. Yeah, give it a mic, because I want this on the mic, please. Now, again, and again, we get into this, but I don't want you to, it's not a defense of Donald Trump. It's, you've got to look at the politics because it concerns you because they're both fighting over your estate. That's your interest in this matter. Remember, you've got foreign Europeans. And I'm going to repeat this. Foreign Europeans that are descendants of European colonists operating under Unum Sanctum that are not legitimate government, not any of them are operating to preserve their constitution and its republic form of government. They are in opposition to it. They are there to what? Become multi-millionaires at the expense of the poor and of the people and to actually fund terrorist groups against the people and then charge you with defending against the terrorists that they create against you and then doing stuff to you directly when you figure it out. This is what's going on and Donald Trump is, is a spoiler. So their battle with him is personal relative to their oligarchy operations. Not that he's not somewhat an oligarch himself. But now they'll just tell me what it is. That's your that's your uh, 1871, good brother. That's what this is all about. You gotta look at it that way. That's really what I'm saying to you. If you look at it shallow and just from the issue that the United States is a private corporation, no. Just look at it like this. They've been working for the corporation in Austria. And Vienna. Do you understand? And Switzerland. They've never been working for the people on the land. And the deal is, the things that Donald Trump is doing is unraveling it and is, and, and is making people see that they've never been working for the people. They've been your enemy, but the people keep thinking, my congressman, my congresswoman. And no, they are private oligarchs of the Barristers Association who have been carrying out the foot soldier work of the Pope of Rome successfully, and Donald Trump is spoiling it. Somewhat, and he still can't do it by himself. It's not about. Okay. It's on um, what, what we were talking about, I guess, today or yesterday, I'm not sure. But we were talking about the fact that they abused um, the media uh, and tried without, because they don't have any valid charges, they used this media hype and they used entertainers to try them in the court of public opinion. And we know that they're part of the network. Right, because the media is controlled by the same, you know, deep state. You know, let's put it this way. No, let, let's better let's better make it clear to everybody. We've got to the people got to get it out of their minds that the media is controlled by the Kazarian order of the Draco order of the Albions. The media, major media, is owned by them. It's not some separate entity of legitimate platform that's controlled by them. They own it. All clear. They're not journalists and reporters. They're CIA plants. Your social media, FB, you know, Facebook, Google, Twitter are all CIA operations. All clear. Clear. They're not even really separate. That's not knocking. That's the reality. All of them come under the Echelon program and their Phoenix operations. That's the fact. You know, so let's, and I'm saying this because I think there's this mentality that the people keep thinking that the press is um, or some kind of inter <coughs> independent operation that some people were bought off and then they're convincing them to do certain things as opposed to the fact that they own those platforms. And then you'll see certain people come on certain venues um, that, are, that are of Asiatic descent, right? They like to call themselves black. 
because that's part of their agreement. All right, they know damn well they ain't damn black, and they know there ain't no such thing as black people. But they're going along with it so they can get their uh, vouchers into resource, and they're they're uh, uh, encouraged to tell the people that they're getting paid when they know they're not getting paid, when they know it's not money. All right. However, these are vouchers for bookkeeping for the 12 orders of the Franciscan Brotherhood that would be called, the 12 orders would be called the 12 regencies of the Inquisition Revenue Operations, i.e. the 12 regencies of the bank routing system, which is the bench of the Pope. How about that? Hmm. That includes all the big time stars and all the guys. Huh. Huh. All right. It ain't like they don't know this stuff. They're Eastern stars, Masons, etc. Sometimes some of them try to give little signals out to the public to try to wake the people up and the people think they're devils. But, you know, they're trying to do what they can do, but they're limited because if they go too far, they, they disappear them. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? All right. Um, it's like when Bill Cosby tried to buy CBS and stuff like that, so they murdered his son. That was his first signal. That's right. Clear. So he didn't listen, so now. Please. Do you understand what I'm saying? You gotta understand how things work. They're not influenced, they own these platforms. They only live because we keep feeding them. They have no jurisdiction except you keep giving it to them. This is why you gotta get their gods back. But in order to do that, you gotta have some kind of comprehension of who you really are. So you gotta start. You know, how you say you got to go to work, you got to go to Joe, but don't give up your inner God. That's right. <laughs> See, right. what they do, they convince you to give up your God, and then they take every damn thing from you. But it ain't the God that you think it is, meaning you, learn, you better learn to govern yourself. But you govern yourself by knowing yourself. Therefore, man, know thyself. Not on a principle or on a platform of believing any damn thing. Go back to the state of mind of your ancient mothers and fathers and learn the culture. Learn what the movements of the moon mean to you. Learn why they have holidays. Why, learn why the holidays around the planet are always measured by the movement and the placement of the moon. In relationship to the placement of the sun. Any sun worship is understanding how the universe works. They don't want you to start thinking like that. Because that's how it operates, so I'm clear. clear, clear. And, and, and until you give their idol gods back, you're locked into that fence. You are because you choose to be. Are we clear? clear? And when they, they will see from things that you say or when you start talking about what you believe in, they already know that they got you. As soon as you start talking about someone trying to convince anybody about what their beliefs are, you already know they're under mind control. It's not a knock, it's the truth, get over it. Work to end that paradigm among our people. You want to liberate our people with intelligence, not with anger or emotion, with knowledge and intelligence start shedding them of their childlike belief systems of anthropomorphic resentment and get them into the scientific knowledge of the movement of the planets and the energies of the planets and the energies that your mother gave you in this body. Complete that cycle with knowledge and then nature herself opens up to you and just shows you all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. But what you won't be is salami and baloney to no man. Are we clear? Clear, clear? And then learn to respect, not that you can't, not that you don't always do that, but learn to respect life, learn to, to respect, love the animals, and love yourself. And don't take anything from the environment that you don't need. Are we clear? And always think when you use or do or take anything or add anything to the environment, think seven generations down. And that way you can be safe. 
Does your mother give you everything you need, whether it's your mother or the earth? Are we clear? Yeah. But you got to give up the gods alone. And I'm telling you, don't keep defending this God system that Rome gave you because your communities is the evidence, is the product. So don't tell me about your successes with it. Your communities is the evidence. When we talking about Todd, you don't know what he's talking about. Your communities and your condition is the evidence, including your broken relationships, your broken pockets, your broken communities, and they got their personal POW camps packed with our people. Don't tell me about your gods. You can tell yourself about it. You keep playing these games. But the deal of it is, our interest is to liberate the, 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 the next generations, even if these generations don't want to be liberated. But don't think that you're going to serve Rome, that he's going to keep you around as a trinket, because he ain't. As soon as he get rid of you, like his other Negro Ike marching overseer guys, when they get no longer useful, they neutralize them. Don't think that you're going to some daggone Negro retirement home in Florida. Clear. That's what 1871 is all about. To perfect that political platform that's in operation right now. And Trump is kind of spoiling it a little bit. So I'm not saying that he's sincere. I'm just saying, let's look at the evidence. But I also know he's caught in a dilemma because nobody want to trade with them anymore. Because they're dishonorable damble. They've broken every treaty. Yeah. They robbed and cheated every damn body. And then those who wouldn't let them rob, they go and murder them. Mm -hmm. And then the people here that would wake up they would create Boston Tea Party type thing. Go do their, what they like to call blackface thing. Go do something to someone else. Say, look at these people over here, look what they did. We gotta go do something about that and everything, and it's really them. Mm -hmm. Step on it. <laughs> you sure? Oh, no, I feel the horrible. Hey, I ain't got time to take them outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do that. Yeah. On camera, but ordinarily I would take them out. I didn't want to. It's a party, but whatever. <laughs> but um, and that's and that's really the truth. So, um, a person who really don't understand this don't know that the um, first of all, when you look at our people, right, the people of the land, most of whom don't know they're the people of the land. Um. That's due to reconstructed history. Um, whether you're talking about the Republican Party, um, operatives, um, pseudo-led pseudo -led by Donald Trump. Because remember, Donald Trump is really not a part of that Republican Party. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Not really. Um, and they're not a part of him either. Um, and that's not a negative to him. I mean, he's not the negative. They're the negative. Right. Not that he's the absolute positive either. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. But from the Republic order um, that was neutralized when they got rid of the, the last president, which is Abraham Lincoln, you must always keep in fact mind Abraham Lincoln was the last president. Not that he was the last lawful president, <coughs> he was the last president. Wow. All presidents after Abraham Lincoln, secret oligarchs. Are we clear? clear. Operating with the game of the oligarch Congress, barristers uh, taking their orders from Fleet Street, England. Are we clear? clear? 
And for those who really understand these operations, you'll understand with the civil rights marching stuff that they initiated around 54, 55, 56. This is the same time when they created the artificiality of the province of Morocco, the kingdom of Morocco, so that they could hide the history of the empire issue that they did not leave, which is North America. Are we clear? Yeah. And then when the uh, German, Dutchman, and these, and we, we talked about these things before, but we're putting things together. This is for the listeners and you too. Um, why do I do Eisenhower shut down? You come to a court, which is Article Three courts, so that as these people began to wake up at the Civil Rights March, or guys were really boule, <clears throat> operating on the skull and bones, and really making these people stock options making them think that they were citizens of the United States Corporation Company, which they are not, can't be, never can be. They're the people of the land in treaty with them. Mm -hmm. Now when they put you on the opposite side of the chessboard playing against yourself. Yes, right. Are we clear? clear? But if you don't understand history and government, you don't know nothing. You see? So when you're looking at the White Eisenhower in 1954, 55, 56, you're not looking at Woodrow Wilson, Jekyll Island, the Alloyal Title Movement, the Aboriginal Title Movement. You're just thinking about whether there's really gold or silver coins, i.e., whether there's real money. And everybody keeps talking about that, and no one's paying about talking about the abrogation of the gold clause and the abrogation of Article 3, diversity of nationality, which would lead you back to the treaty obligations, which is why they killed Lincoln in the first place, to make you forget about the treaty superseding the Constitution. You, you get the point? Why do you think you have so many Moorish Americans in certain organizations that criticize us for reminding the people about Article Three courts. You think maybe some of them got 501c3 skull and bones agreements? And logically, those who are in the oligarch platform are logically going to resist us, yes. Not morally. But politically, they know they're obligated to it too. But they know that the masses don't know because they have not been taught civics. In other words, they've controlled their education. So they can easily turn the masses against themselves. This is why they keep writing these false articles in different newspapers. And I've seen it recently, even in the auto magazine that I just got the other day Car and Driver, Sovereign Citizens. Mm -hmm. They're using different medium to counter what they see the people waking up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember when you were reading from the dictionary, the activation of chakras mm -hmm. and the sovereignty? Mm -hmm. That's really connected to the real development of humanity, mm -hmm. not the way they've look, been looking at it. They're blocking. And they're accelerating their activities. There's another reason why I chose the subject for tonight. Because everything you can bring up is connected to this. There's not nothing, there's nothing that you can bring up in your conversations tonight, whether it's your economics, whether it's your personal relationships, whether it's your so-called religion, whether it's your fiat, whether it's the political platform that's operating, whether it's the wars on the planet, all this tied to this. All of it. Now the deal is you got to get to the point of being able to disseminate and separate the dynamics of all of this mess to liberate yourself. But trust yourself because, you know, I, I do comprehend 
that a lot of us are afraid because they know that Rome's a murderer. Because there was a murder from the beginning that buys not the truth because there's no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own kind. But what he's trying to say is that you're a part of them. Don't be. Don't mean that you weren't compromised and made treaties with them because logically we want peace on the planet. But don't be a part of it. Do you understand? You've done your part. If you try to make peace, hey, haven't you done your part? Mm -hmm. So if nature start eclipsing and start cleaning up some things, you know, observe it, but don't don't go party with them. You know, well, let's come on, let's some more jump in. Don't go over with that crowd. Observe. Do you traveling in the mind? You understand? You understand? Yeah. Anyway, um, <coughs> what did Mike? You was going to ask something, but I, but I had blocked you because I wanted to finish that thought because I know that there's people listening, you know, and I, don't want to, I didn't want to leave, leave them hanging. You know your question, bro? Yeah. Uh, and do a little bit more expansion on that because people keep looking at the, um, <clears throat> the issue of, of 1871 in, with an incomplete thought. They keep looking at, well, the United States was turned into a corporation. Yeah. That tells them nothing, really. Right. And that's why I took the time to go a little bit through that, mm -hmm. the, the dynamics, because you know they're not looking at that. But I'm telling you, that energy, that time, is reflected right now with this impeachment with Donald Trump directly. Take my word for it. And if you doubt it, do some research. And then watch their movements. Go ahead. Islam, I just wanted to mention, um, since you was talking about the time frame with uh, Abraham Lincoln in 1871, but I wanted to mention uh, the passing of Abraham Lincoln, April 15, 1865. And tax day going to come up April 15th every year. That's why. So with them bankrupting, with Lincoln bankrupting the uh, country, Do, and they still, I mean, government. No, 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 no. Okay. Good now, remember, all right, because I know what you're saying, we know what you're saying. But remember, while we are purging with ourselves, we're purging people who are listening around the world. He did not bankrupt the country. He bankrupted the corporation operatives who were pretending to have authority on the land, i.e. the country, Morocco. Correct. Oh, and, and this is casting spell. Remember, spell casting. This is why when they have their yearly conference, remember they have conferences every year on education. Right. Why? And one of the things that they do with the networking is to make sure that they promote connotative statements, phrases, and words so that when we start addressing these things that we will neutralize ourselves through the connotation. As an example, they will say, um, Donald Trump does this, that, that, that for the American people. That's a fraud statement, always de-dissected. As soon, every time that they present America as the country, stop and dissect it. Every time they present the United States as a country without qualification, dissect it and toss it. Because it's part of the connotative linguistics for the people to cast spells not knowing that they're casting spells even though they're meaning well. Okay. All right, that's what I'm reminding you of that. All right. Always separate the, the Pope's corporation operations distinguished from the land, though they're operating on, on the, the land. land. Correct. Correct. All right, go ahead. Okay. So as a result of that, tax day is still April 15th. So what's tax day? When they take your time, your yes, they do. Yeah. That's for everybody else. <laughs> All right. The collection Thomas D. Torquemada 
Inquisitor General for the Pope's of Rome under the Spanish Inquisition is the IRS, just in a modern name. Right? Correct. Lincoln was messing up their platform, that's why, April. And it's not only April for that purpose, it's also because it's Aries. Okay. So, so. The Ram. Okay, all right. All right, I'm just, you know, everything that they do, they do with a consciousness of the workings of nature so that they can minimize the karmic, what we would call karmic response. Meaning that they know the law, and what they do is encourage us to break the law. They're just always nearby like a jackal to devour us, i.e. Although there's balances, they're stretching their timeline. Okay. I mean, they're time jumping. You know what I mean? However, they've been doing it for such a while, they're, they're miserable and unhappy. You, you they can't know? get all the food as fast as they want. Well, we, but right. we're not totally devoured because we still fight. You don't take the life we give it. Okay. But right. they're evil and they're greedy. Right. In other words, like this. Five riders, Rolls Royces over here, and this collection over there, and I got two Ferraris over there, and I got this Chrysler Imperial collection over here, and all these stars, and they can all get drive one car at a time. Mm. Not right. that that's bad, you know what I'm saying? No, that's right. Got 50 suits in the closet and half of them got tags on. Well, you kind of fat, can't fit them anyway. What the hell? <laughs> then, you know, all these shoes and stuff. You get, hey, cool. Damn, man, you mean you got five pairs of Air Jordans? <laughs> well, I bet you ain't going to wear them, so I guess it's good. It's kind of, they go over here, I'm sorry. Damn, you got five eight ball jackets. <laughs> <laughs> can't sell that shit in the tennis store. I don't care if it costs a thousand bucks. But the point that I'm making is they take everything even though they don't need it. They're miserable because nature balances things out. You, I got you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. And the, the deal of it is, is that they still control the major instinct of them, and then we get sick and miserable. You know, they're angry because they're unhappy, they want you to be unhappy. Because they thought when they gained the world, that they had it all. What they did is gain the world and lost their soul. Right. In a way, you know. Right. Meanwhile, they're trying to steal their bosses. Unum sanctum. Isn't that unum sanctum? Absolutely. And they declare these people civil little mortals yeah. and black and then claiming their estates. And then they've been, meanwhile, they're battling each other over your estate. <laughs> meanwhile, we're in ignorance trying to be a part of them. You know, stand off from them. Observe them. Meanwhile, be cleaning up yourself. Well, meanwhile, anything you do, you translate, transact with them, make it a reversion of your estate on every front, in your language, in your deeds, in your thoughts, and don't sign shit with them. Make no pacts with the devil. John 8, 44. Dr. Dr. Michael. And that's not calling them a devil, if you understand, in a sense. Because devil only means, you know, God or the lesser light. That's all it means. Demons, that's all it means. So not to be looked at necessarily negative. All right, go ahead, Doctor. Um, you were mentioning how they use the dates and so forth. I have a question, cosmologically. I noticed there are a lot of things that have taken place um, in the month of March, which is probably more during the, what we would call the Piscean, when the Pisces. Um, they say beware the Ides of March, which had to do with Julius Caesar's um, being being uh, murdered on the 15th. Or, of, assassinated. Of, assassinated yeah. on the 15th, but then um, Traficant. March, a lot of different things I, and different and significant things I've seen that happen in March. What would be the significance of them doing it on this side of Pisces? Everything mm -hmm. would be, oh, now you're dealing with the war. Right. Mm -hmm. Two, all right. Um, 
you would you, you kind of generalize stuff, but what you would rather do whenever there's some incident, if they're talking about the geography, then look at a geographical chart distinguished from a personal chart. And I think that's how we would do. And I think we, uh, uh, so very often when they do a, 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 a prophetical projection, most of the time when we look at things like that, it's generalized. But it does not necessarily mean that in those cycles that some, some kind of untoward thing always occurs. You, uh, you would look more or less, uh, if the priesthood is instituting an action watching certain things being in retrograde or being on a low cosmological edge. <clears throat> so you look at everything. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then you look not on like what's coming up, this eclipse that's coming up, which is a step out of the not known because you always have eclipses. But when you talk about time, what you're talking about type of chrono chronological cycle, so you've got a lot going on right now, and you've got a lot of things that are going to be falling apart, and a lot of things that are going to be really exposed, like really, 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 really. And then you look at uh, people who know this doing certain things to try to stop themselves from being unmasked. So they'll do other things to other people to distract you from other things. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And so you have a period of a, a, a cycle coming up. What is this? You see what you got going on here. You ain't got a lot of time. So you got about, what, about seven, eight days? You know, so people who understand, they're prepping, they're prepping for a lot of changes. So they'll be doing things to people to protect themselves. I mean, they'll sacrifice people to protect them, their own interests. And then you have to look at um, um, when they talk about the Ides of March. It is not necessarily that the assassination of, of Caesar um, was necessarily uh, astrologically charted, although they do. You may look at that circumstantially as the energies that were in that made it prime at that time, but then you'd have to turn the clock back. Because then you're also looking at, even though we're still within the millennia, right? You got to look at the millennia because as you have the millennia change, you also have constellation shift. So you may have a, a particular ruling planet uh, that may be in a constellation of, of, of harmonizing with the moon calendar. Because you remember, you got to look at the moon and the sun calendar. That's how we operate here. Right? Although they'll acknowledge one here and acknowledge the other, they've always secretly used both of them. So then you look at, like, say, interesting thing now, as we're seeing now, right, Cam? Yeah. You know, in past millennia, where you might have um, Uranus being dominant, uh, ruling the Aquarian constellation. <laughs> now, what you're dealing with now is Uranus and Saturn ruling. At the same time, the Aquarian constellation. So you have to recognize the uniqueness of what that represents. Then you, uh, then so you would do a reading with that consideration in mind, rather than just you know the, you know how you pop off the pop off. Well, certain jewels represent certain energies or certain moons. Certain salts and phosphates are 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 represented with the emission of the energies of certain constellation, right? Um, then you're looking at whether you're looking at um, uh, measuring the calculation by the standard uh, Egyptian calendar adjusted by Gregory for four days type thing that ain't his calendar they call it Gregorian that's really Egyptian calendar um, and then you look at uh, you want to get more refined then you make sure that you're looking at a sidereal angle right then you want to get more refined, you're looking at it from a Vedic perspective. So now you're getting what you call more refined. And when they talk like that, I usually, I look at it, but I'm not 
yeah, necessarily jump on some generalized thing. Because now we can't be as general. We've got to be more refined because the time is that serious. You know, which is again why they're accelerating their operations with the Phoenix program, the Echelon program, etc. You know, to neutralize us. You know what I mean? So uh, this is again why uh, this is a subject tonight. You know. Anyway, but I want to thank you all for coming out because we're more than over time. And those who are listening. Um, thank you for sharing time with us at the House of Reawakening Mind. Um, again, when you look at those uh, constellations and you look at the representations um, of those constellations, what we call the moons or the months, etc., uh, this is again why it's important for us to get back to the culture, start learning the food groups around the world, right? Um, why certain foods um, that you'll see in different parts of the world that you assume that people are different when they're really necessarily not. If you're thinking uh, with the dramatic naturalist placing humanity in different groups around the world, you've got to kind of look at that really different because we've been on the entire planet. All right, so, so some of you who are in Lower Egypt, Kentucky, Alabama, and Tennessee area, and been there for a while, you, you could still be uh, connected to some of the Twa people from China on down to South Asia that you call Africa. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? So don't let the European misplace you by placing you. Because he's really displacing you. Go back to your culture and you'll find it yourself. But in order to do that, you've got to dump the idol God systems because they were designed to block your development and block your evolution. Are we clear? Yeah. Clear. And I'll say this one more time as we close out. Don't forget this. I don't care what they tell you and what they don't tell you and what they forgot to tell you and what they convinced themselves is not the case, that they actually know better. So all of these clergy around the world, and particularly all of your headliners, the ones that you see with a lot of attention, got a lot of resources, mm -hmm. they're already told that this is what God really means. That's why they have no conscience asking these people for $60 million for a plane. <laughs> <laughs> they have no conscience whatsoever stealing the widow's pennies. And when they start telling you God is your creator, what they're telling you is that the Pope is the father, is Peter, is the top. Mm, mm, mm. All right? Mm. I say he ain't. <laughs> Get over it. Anyway, thank you all for Supporting the House of Reawakening Minds. Thank you all for listening. Support the House of Reawakening Minds. Because it's here to support you. Really. Uh, thanks for bringing the baby out. Um, and the same way you protect him, right, is the same way government really works. Are we clear? Clear. Don't send him no bill. <laughs> but Grant should do have one final announcement for tomorrow. Would you like to announce tomorrow? Yo, come on, keep coming on. Uh, yeah, my turn. Right. 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 Step into the light. Step into the light. Keep the moonwalk. And then, <laughs> now, when y'all see the moonwalk, and watch the camera that comes up from that stage. Come on. Come on. I was trying to get it up on the screen. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, uh, I'm sorry, people. I'm going to blank you out. Because we're going to be here. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow, please come out and join us. We have our 2020 resolution alignment, Road to Self Mastery. Move into the camera.
Uh, I'm in my hand. Am I? You know, like y'all always tell me. You always got me. Stage one. Am I good? You in there like a I'm in there. <laughs> All right, tomorrow, December the 21st, which is Winter Solstice. That's right. We're entering. We just yes. Into yes. Yes. We'll be entering the Winter Solstice. That's right. Um, we have 2020 Resolution Alignment Road to Self Mastery featuring uh, Brother Abdullah El Talib Mosey Bay. He will go etymology, epistemology, and your connection to the moon cycle. You have uh, none other than Dr. Daigla L. Woo! <laughs> you have David Levi Bay on herbal therapy, and none other than our brother um, Hassan Gazelle Bay on astrology. So tonight was great. Um, Grand Sheep talked about that inward baptism of purging out the old and allowing the new to come through. So tomorrow is a great time to come in, come to the house, um, get those tools that needed for the inner building block.